<laughs> yeah. So, so Vincent had anything. Uh, had anything much happened uh, to you aside from a slow recovery or <laughs> slow recovery? What are you talking about? That guy, he, he, he was playing trivia in the hospital. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I, not in the hospital. No, it was. I was. I was he until my... he got to the parking lot. He was in the taxi coming home from the hospital. <laughs> 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 still wow, that was slow the recovery. Time. He was on the table while he was under. He was, playing he was asking the doctor for, hey, have you heard of this? He's in the room. Hey, doctor, you got the answer for this trivia question? <laughs> Can you tell me? Says, I can't see my screen from here. That would well, be welcome, amazing. everybody, to 2024. Wow. wow. I can't even believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm in California and I'm freezing. I'm telling you. I, I'm in the same house and I've got. She's naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the temperature... She's on the room behind North and South. She is naked and unafraid. <laughs> the temperature where Jim and I is uh zero right now. Yeah. Right. It feels like zero in my legs right now. And I got a blanket. Really? Okay. It's minus eight Celsius in Edmonton. So oh. Oh. and that's very warm for this time of year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seasonably yeah. warm yeah. at minus eight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's over 85. the next few days, it's actually supposed to get to something like normal winter weather. Like it's like, uh, you know, minus 10 uh, or something, mm -hmm. you know, rather. Uh, though, mo though most winters we do get some minus 20. Uh, 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 we had so minus 20 in October and then it warmed right Ooh. up. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, we're supposed to be around it's, minus seventeen on Saturday with so um, five it's centimeters snowing snow. on my yeah. screen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now uh, everyone here is complaining about how cold it nope, is. Nobody. Yeah. Forty-eight on my computer. Can we can we yeah. please convert to Rankin so I can understand what you're talking about? <laughs> no, for real. All right, we're not here to talk about, about. We're not here to talk about snow and cold. I'm sorry, Brian. We're here to talk about how social trivia and how fun this is going to be. First game of the of the new year, 2024. It's going to be our game 196, getting really close to 200. And we have five awesome leaders today. The five leaders today are Karen, Rob, Gail, Carl, and Ron, all competing against each other. And they're going to give me, we're going to get some really awesome team names. Team number one. Team, team number, number one. Cindy, James. Karen, Peggy, Wendy, Faith, and Romero. Team one, Mark safe from being on Epstein's list. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Somebody might have used it. You know, one of these people's names might have been something. Okay. Bill, Jamie, Jim, Rob, and Adrian. No, Jamie did not visit Japan recently. <laughs> Wait, Jamie, Jamie, when you're not here, uh -huh. We were here for a while. Every disaster that came up, everybody had <laughs> yeah. to ask, was Jamie there? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, could, could we have uh, t Team One's um, name up on the uh, in the chat? It's, it's in there. there. Oh, it, it's showing for me. Where? In the chat. Above, right above it's, Team Two. Here, I'll put it, it in. Should, it it should be right above, above Team Two. Stuff. This could be I, the recent the recent up, uh, upgrade to to zoom and some stuff shows up and some mine just upgraded and last week i didn't see stuff in the chat that should have been there right well i got you i got no i guess i got team two i didn't get team one i just have some yeah. things from carl i yeah no i don't oh, have team one name either them. but now i do yeah i just i, I, I suggest I just when it's a convenient time quickly exit zoom let it update it only takes about half a minute and come yeah. back in okay well next week all right, yeah. so Brandy, Gail, Kat, Stephen, and Jane. We are the blissful ignorati. ignorati. <laughs> it's because I, I haven't watched the news yet this year, so I'm blissfully ignorant. Well, <laughs> trust me, you do not want to watch the news today. Bad things yeah. in Iowa. Very bad things. Okay, Alan, Ben, Jordan, Carl, and Kevin. Welcome to 2024. Back to the Future were rebooted this year. Marty McFly would wind up in 1994. Oh, um, that's so horrible to think about. It, I know. Bring that up. And now I'm going to go take a suicide pill. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if yeah. this was Logan's run, I'd be still in a dream by now. 
We don't use that word right now. Oh, just, right. Sorry, we're recording. You say, well, you said unalived. So. Right. Yeah. But that'll be eventually gotten rid of anyway. Okay. Janine. Did everybody see the recent uh, uh, XKCD uh, uh, with somebody... Uh, uh, with somebody noting the election year and uh, oh let's see can I vote for for Obama I I, I like Tim and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> put it in the put it put the link if you find it Janine Lee Ron Terry Vincent and Deborah and Terry's been gone for a very long time it's great to have her back thank you it's great to see you all but you know it's nice to see people that we haven't seen in a while there it is nice That's shirt it. Vincent <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what everyone decided on. Oh, oh now boy. I have to see it, Vincent. Yeah, well, look at it. Stand up. Let's see it. It's great. See? <laughs> oh, oh, we can't see it now because of your background. Yeah. <laughs> what get, does it say? I'll, I'll get rid of the background. It doesn't say anything, really. It's just a nice shirt. Yes. Yeah. It's um, unique. <laughs> I got to see the shirt now. I know we got to know there. what the fashion is. Very stylish. My messy place. Welcome to the world. Yeah, welcome. Nice. To the that's very nice. Is that an M? Very cool shirt. Yeah. And an O. What kind of it? abstract. It's an L. Lovely. Spin it round. <laughs> Looks like a TV. <laughs> the what? TV's gone but off the air. on the back? Oh, I can go back. Cartwheels. There oh, nice. that. oh, yeah. The yeah, that's nice. Kind of Did you get that for Christmas? There is nothing on the back, I don't uh, think. Ah, uh, uh, the mm -hmm. kick me sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty much every day. Uh, uh, kiss. Uh, K I S S. Kiss me. Kiss me. Yeah. yeah. He would notice, I think, either of those shirts. Mm -hmm. If there was a sign on the back, I think he'd notice. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Game number 196, season four. We are playing on January 4th, 2024. 2024 is the first game of the year. We have five teams, five teams vying for the for the start off the year on some sort of starting off the year thing. All right, and the <laughs> five teams are team one, Mark Say from being on Epstein's list versus no, Jamie did not visit Japan recently versus blissful ignorantimy. Ignorant, ig you guys are making up words. And then I'm, then I get <laughs> Ignorati. <you>. Ignorami. <laughs> Ignorati. <laughs> Ignorati. It's going to be origami. People too. that yeah. don't know how to do origami. Okay, yeah. blissful ignor. We're well, like the Illuminati, but backwards. Okay, yeah, that's Ignorati. It. Ignorati. Okay. Welcome to 2024. If Back to the Future were rebooted this year, Marty McFly would wind up in 1994. I'm not quite sure I understand that reference, but I guess it makes sense to you all. At versus mm -hmm. nice shirt, Vincent. Well, in yeah, 85, is it, back is in it time, because it's time travel so you refuse to think about it? Is that why? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get I don't get it. Why would do you know the movie Back to the Future? Yeah. He went Marty back McFly in time 30 travels years. back in time 30 years. Mm -hmm. From, From the 80s to, the to 55. Right. If that were to be shot today, he'd only go back to 1994. And some of us think that was not that long ago. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. So it's a joke. It's yes. a joke. <laughs> we're all old. Until we have to explain it. And then it's not. Oh, okay. Then that, then that just, okay. I get it for those people out there watching and we're getting like 30 views so and it's probably <laughs> rob just reviewing it yeah i'm trying to get your numbers up so that you can <laughs> I watch like too. so um it's rob and susan <laughs> okay so we are ready to rumble we're going to lead <clears throat> off with miss karen and karen is going to go ahead and start us out with something so she could start drinking <laughs> no wine or a beer before giving a category okay so the category and i'm not gonna uh, silence people because i like the occasional comments and so forth i will ask though 
if you don't understand a word I say and need me to repeat what I've said, that's please do that. If you don't understand, you heard everything I said, but it doesn't quite make sense to you, I'd ask you to refrain until from asking until you get with your group. You can always message me and I can come to your group and clarify it. Is that okay? Yes, hey, can you repeat that? No. <laughs> <laughs> the category is Father Nations, perhaps. What is it? <laughs> the category is sovereign nation okay. perhaps and okay. it's in the chat Ooh. okay these are places considered by some to be sovereign nations while confirmed on other websites the particular source of all but the bonus is the environmenter that is the correct spelling which defines itself as quote the ten tree that's the way they have capitalized it the Ten Tree Guide to Everyday Sustainable Living. It is a 2017 entry. The blog is associated with the, Can with the Canadian company Ten Tree. Match the numbered nations to the lettered statements. Two statements per nation. So now I'm going to give you um, 11 uh, choices here. You can only have 10, 10 points maximum but I'm going to give you 11 selections here, okay? Uh, and, I, and I have deliberately written the nations twice to make it easier when you cut and paste those of you that use a share screen. So these are your numbered nations and one bonus. And these are the statements from which you may choose. And again, only you can answer all of them, but only 10 points maximum. Okay. You know, doubled, right? Monday? These are all doubled? Yes. Each nation has uh, the statements applied to uh, two statements per nation. Okay. And yes. So we. Okay. So the first, th so I'm going to now give you A through K <laughs> or whatever that is to match with uh, 1 through 11. Um, a, an anarchist commune making its home in abandoned army barracks declared independence in 1971. After attempts to dismantle it failed, Denmark finally acquiesced to the residents' demands, calling it a, quote, social experiment, end quote, not controlled by the government. That statement applies to 1 through 11 somewhere, or 1 through 10. Uh, B, statement B. It has diplomatic relations with around 100 countries and it has no land. They rented an apartment block and a villa in Rome after Napoleon kicked them out of Malta in 1798. They have their own laws and passports. They claim to have over 13,000 citizens. <laughs> okay. Better places than that. C. The EU, uh, the, the European Union gives this entity enormous export tax breaks. South Africa, Vietnam, India, and Mexico. Oh, I left out an Oxford comma. Usually I insert it. Oh. I insert it if it's not in the text I copy. Okay. Oh South Africa, Vietnam, India, and Mexico all support the entity's claims of independence. And they are a member of the African Union. Well, I should say it. It is a member of the African Union, unless that's its chosen. <clears throat> okay. um, D, despite attempts by a dictator to wipe out this entity's people, it formed an effective army that fights a uh, Sal Salifa jihadist group that has conducted and inspired terrorist attacks worldwide. That's D. Okay, here's E. He is, while doing charity work distribution, distributing condoms, their leader got in trouble with the Pope, who called for the leader's resignation. Oh, jeez. <laughs> As one does. Uh, I, I don't know what Pope it was. I don't know what Pope, 2017, so it wasn't the, uh, necess, the current Pope, maybe. maybe. Anyway, at one point, a Pope at, at some point. Um, F, according to... I left out a word. According to the law, uh, to the laws made by this entity, um, no guns or vehicles are allowed. 
there is no private property and selling or buying hashish is legal. Quote, hard, unquote, drugs were prohibited in 1979. This place attracts over 1 million tourists annually. I bet it does. G. <laughs> G. Uh, it was founded in nine, 954 AD when the Holy Roman Empire collapsed. It was one of 300 states absorbed into surrounding nations. It became part of Sardinia, which later became Italy. However, when the Italian Unification Treaty was signed, this place was left off the list. Nobody has brought the matter to court. So the residents maintain their sovereignty from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> H. Morocco attempted to claim this entity in 1957. Prior to that, the area was under Spanish control. Spain pulled out, then Morocco and Mauritania uh, fought over it. However, the 500,000 people who live there still claim independence. Independence, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, despite its volatile beginnings, it now has a bustling tourist industry. It has its own elected government, passport, army, borders, and national anthem. I did insert the oh, Oxford you. comma there. Oh, thank it, you. My gosh, I was <laughs> it's citizens, What a relief. Its citizens <clears throat> approved a referendum in, seven, in 2017 to declare independence. Okay, two more. Yay. This hilltop town of around 400 people covers about the same size area as Central Park in Manhattan. It has uh, councils in several countries. It may be the oldest of its type of entity in Europe. Okay, and then finally, uh, so you have uh, 11 to choose from. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, yes, the question, the, the, okay, this is kind of weird. I did the, believe it or not, I did something weird. Um, so number <laughs> 11, okay, so, no. number, so number 11, I, I shouldn't have included 11 up there because I'm going to cut and paste it right now and add it here. Okay. So for K, or number 11, Bonus, maximum 10 points. Which of these terms, which of these terms may accurately be used to describe at least one of the above entities? Um, one, an independent entity under international law. Two, autonomous region. Three, disputed territory. Four, self-proclaimed principality. Five, micronation. And so that should be K. Right, that's kind of weird, but <gasps> okay. I got Aaron, it. explain something to me about. I'm not quite sure I'm understanding. We're matching a letter to each of the numbers, and 11 is also one of the numbers that we need to match. Yes, I'm sorry, that should say K. What should say K? Here, let me just make letter it 11 let K. me do it right now. Oh, 11 is K. Yeah. So and how, still is have an 11? how is it a bonus if it's a letter that's getting matched? Because there are 11 choices. So there's 11 points possible, but you can only have 10. But for K, you're asking questions. You're saying, is it? Uh, yeah, you're choosing two, a letter. You're choosing I believe, yeah. 11 slash K is just an independent question. It has nothing to do with the matchups. Correct. That's not what you just said, unless I misinterpreted that. You did. Okay. <laughs> So, so it's just question 11. It's not K. It doesn't get matched to anything. Yes. You missed the part where I noted I made a mistake, asked, <laughs> uh, apologized, and tried to rectify it. So, so, Karen, so I'm clear there are each of the things that are numbered have basically have two descriptions that go with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are enough descriptions to for all the numbers. So each nation has two statements. So I literally wrote that's, them yeah. twice. So it'd be easy for okay. the cut and pasters. So, yeah. so that's why there's two, like there's a Saborga, Saborga, there's a Frita Christiana, Frita. So everything is twice. Right. All right. Simple. 
harder. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll get the hints in the two things. Oh, there's hints? Yeah, there are hints. <clears throat> sort of. <laughs> Send us to our rooms. We've all been naughty. <laughs> oh, I like that. Gladly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's yeah. paying attention to the instructions you gave earlier to hold those questions till we're right. in our groups. So send us to our rooms. Very bad. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Break Kings out. everybody. <laughs> That'll get you monetized, Spankies. Susan. <laughs> Spankies. <laughs> that might give you more viewers. That's right. <laughs> Whole new niche group for you. Go up to 40. Hold on a second. Hello, team. Hello, hello, Susan. Are we not getting Adrian, Susan? Or is she what? in another room? What? what no, we want, want we want Susan. Susan has. Yeah, but where, where is Adrian, Susan? Because Adri I know Adrian, Susan is in your home, Susan. No, you don't get her. She's on another team. Oh, but what, what is she in another? Me? I am making sure. <laughs> I am making sure Canadian Susan is in another room. Yeah, she's in another room. She's okay. in the room behind this room. She's okay. in the room where it happened? In that room. All right, let me share my screen. Okay. Right. You don't know any of these, but that is sure. I, I don't know, and I've had it. That it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's so much fun. Okay. Can we make it bigger, oh, Romero? Because oh. that's yeah. like tiny beyond. We're, we're getting there. We're sorry, Peggy. We, right. we've been His eyes are younger than ours. <laughs> yeah, on one second, I, I really have to uh, increase the font size, so I don't know. Oh, now, 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 now. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, I, I don't know what your problem is. I can read it, and I've had like I, five. I can read it fine. fine. All right. So <laughs> Maybe I have a smaller computer screen, but it's okay. tough. Oh, that's getting better. Yeah, is that okay, good? Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. I forgot we're with AARP members, so let's go. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You know what? Everybody An anarchist wants to live forever, eight. but nobody wants to get old. You know, no, I mean? it's okay. So, I'm 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 getting there. I'm we getting probably want to go with the A through we probably want to go with the letters and match them yeah. to the numbers. Right. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Because yeah. he's got Suborgia Suborg and Western Sahara and Malta and yeah, so what, where do we start? A, so an a. anarchist commune making its home in an abandoned army barracks. In 1971, after Chimsa dismantled its failed, it failed, Denmark finally acquiesced to the residents of man's calling it a social experiment not controlled by the government. Okay, so which one is that? That sounds like Freetown. Either Freetown, Christiania, yeah. or Seaborga. I think it's Freetown, but I think it's, just that because sounds it sounds like Danish. Yeah. Let's put A there for three. Okay. Uh -huh. And who had diplomatic relations with around 100 countries and has no land? They rented an apartment block and villa in Rome after Napoleon kicked them out of Malta in 1798. Mm -hmm. And they have their own laws and passports. They claim to have over 13,000 citizens. I'm going to go with Lord of Malta. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Malta sounds good. Well, Malta is the military hospital or order of St. John of Jerusalem of Rhodes. Yeah, that sounds like crap. All right. It has um, the EU gives this entity enormous export tax breaks. South Africa, Vietnam, India, and Mexico all support this entity's claims of independence, and they are a member of the African Union. Well, we say Sahara? That has to be Sahara because isn't that the yeah. only one there that's in Africa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless Saborga is, because I have no idea what Saborga is. You know, I just uh, sounded, uh, yeah. Despite attempts by a dictator to wipe out this entity's people, it formed an effective army that fights a Salafi jihadist group that has conducted inspired terrorist attacks worldwide. All right, Pakistan. Hmm. And while doing charity work distributing condoms, their leader got in trouble with the Pope, who called the leader's resignation. Um, Christiana, 
Is that another? Um, I would say that? Western Sahara, maybe because oh, no, I think Western because? Sahara shows up later. Yeah. Okay. We have it twice, don't we? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. we already had it. But once. I would say this would could we do Saborga because or what would what would be another African nation because a lot of African nations do promote like um sexual use of do promote like um birth control or sexually transmitted ways to prevent sexually transmitted disease because of HIV infection. The, uh, is the, do we know that Saborga is African? I don't, don't think so. I don't know one way. Well, would be Western Sahara, Sahara, Sahara then. Yeah, probably, probably the Western Sahara. Sahara. I think Western Sahara doesn't really have much leadership though. Or... No, but it yeah. shows up further uh, down. Why don't we skip that one? Okay, yeah, let's go back. According to the laws made by this entity, no guns or vehicles are allowed. You are not allowed to have private property, and selling or buying hashish is illegal. Hard drugs are prohibited. It's legal, not illegal. It's legal. Hashish is legal. Sorry. Hard drugs were prohibited in 1979, and this place attracts over 1 million tourists annual, annually. Christiana? Yeah, probably Freetown, Christiana. A million a whole tourists. Danish wow, thing. that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but again, I have no uh, idea what Saborga is. When, where, is Saborga, uh, yeah. where is Saborga? Do we no know? No fucking idea. I, I've never heard of this place. Well, it's yeah. not going to be Sahara, and it's gonna, not going to be Malta. It's not going to um, be Christiana. It is founded in 1954, 954 AD, when the, Holy, that's... when the Holy Roman Empire collapsed. It was one of 300 of states absorbed into surrounding nations. It became part of Sardinia, which later became Italy. However, when the Italian Unification Treaty was signed, this place was left off the list. Nobody has brought the matter to court, so the residents maintain their sovereignty from Italy. Maybe that's a Portia. Would this be Saborgia? Can we can yeah. we do Malta again? Well, we could be, Malta. that's why I have to they're listed because... twice. Each one has they're all, yeah, yeah, they're all twice. They're all twice twice, yeah. yeah. Except we, yeah. So, so it's we either Malta or Saborga. Mm-hmm. None of us know yeah. Saborga, do we? No. We haven't got one for Saborga yet. Yeah. Oh, it could be the trash yeah. category. Do you think Saborga could have hashish as legal or Kurdistan or Western Sahara? I don't know. I'm so tempted to look it up, but no. I doubt it's I Western Sahara because it's West, uh, Kurdistan might have hashish as being legal. That sounds like Muslims are pretty cool with people using. Yeah, but didn't that didn't that one also said that they outlawed guns? That no guns or vehicles are allowed. You can't have property. You can't have property. It's a property. Kurdistan, only Kurdistan if you can't have guns. Okay, that's probably not going to be Morocco. Kurdistan. Okay, so do we Morocco come up with something free? Attempted. Huh? Do we come up with something free? No, we're, yet. we're holding off. Okay. Yeah, F, 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 there's a there's tourists. We're going, we're going to um a million tourists go to F. Where what on that list would attract a million tourists? Well, let's let's go to eight. That's why I'm eight saying the thing that we don't know anything about. Morocco attempted to claim this entity in 1957. Prior to that, the area was under Spanish control. Spain pulled out. Then Morocco and Mauritania fought over it. However, the half million people who live there still claim independence. Okay, that we is much Sahara. That's yeah. probably a Sahara. Sahara. Yeah, we should probably use the Sahara for that. Which one was that? That is H. 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 Mm -hmm. And I. Oh, now, do we have three Western Saharas already? No, we have. We've um, used two we, of them. We, we, Western okay. Okay. Covered. So H. Um, I is despite its volatile beginnings, it now has a bustling tourist industry. It has its own elected government, passports, army borders, and national anthem. Its citizens approve a referendum in 2017 to declare independence. I would say probably Kurdistan. Yeah. Really? That makes yeah. sense. I like that. Yes, it does sound right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, that's... Uh, uh... That would be 10. I would be 10. And... 10 would be I. Yeah, and J is this hilltop town of around 400 people covers about the same size area as Central Park in Manhattan. 
It has councils in several countries, and it may be the oldest of its type in the entity of Europe. Seborga. Seborga. We we don't have to know. Oh, it's Jay. Jay. And then the bonus is which of these terms may accurately be used to describe at least one of the above entities? An independent entity under international law, autonomous region, disputed territory, or self proclaimed principality or micronation? I'm leaning towards micronation. What would for the sub sub suborga? Or just any one of the countries like that are listed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Disputed territory. I would say autonomous region disputed territory. Because I don't have a vote. I don't care. Iraqi yeah, currency. You always have a vote, Susan. Right. Well, I would say um, I don't know. Autonomous region disputed territory. Those are two different ones. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Autonomous region then. Well, and then A, B, C, D, we'll is, put E is for Iraqi two. Is Iraqi a an autonomous region, or is it a disputed territory? I yeah. think it would be autonomous region. So we don't I, have D yet, right? No, we have, uh, we don't have E, and E would probably, E is going to fall under Suborga while doing oh, territory e. yeah. and condoms, so do we think- Yeah, we should do E for Suborga. God, this is stupid. We're also, we're also missing G. Uh, I think I think G is uh, Malta. Yeah, okay. That's the only one we have. Yeah. All right, and then what do you want to pick for the bonus? Let's do Curtis. Um... Self-proclaimed principality. Yeah. Principality. Yeah. I mean, technically, it means there's a prince. Right. No. It probably no. doesn't mean it in this context. Principality is a type of government. Right, and I would say autonomous region, maybe. Ugh. This is very complicated. <clears throat> Karen has a devious mind. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. It was a fun topic. I don't know any of the answers, but I never even knew about any now, of those. Now you want to look them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to go to Saborga on my next vacation. <laughs> Do you need a passport to go to Saborga? Good question. Do visa you need a passport? visa? To How go would to... you fly there? Oh, well, you need a passport to go anywhere, but do you need a visa? That's the question. Yeah, you got to get on the plane. You need a passport, but will they let me in without a visa? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I don't really, K is like, whatever. I am mad that none of these are like countries in Epcot. So does anyone vote for autonomous region? There's yes. no votes for autonomous region. I one vote, vote for autonomous region. Two votes. And then I'm, who, I'm kind of down with principality. One for principality. And what about uh disputed territory? Anyone vote for that? Or for independent energy industry under international law. I'm going with micronation. Ah, okay. I like micronation. Wendy, you're the deciding vote. <clears throat> An independent entity under international law. Susan, you're well, the deciding vote. Oh, I'm the deciding vote? Yeah, now you're the deciding yeah, vote. Susan proclaimed deciding. principality micro micronation. Well, fuck, this didn't work out very well. Everybody's yeah. really we split. don't have a consensus. We have We're no consensus split. whatsoever. Just okay, let me read it. Join. Which of these but Let's go. With, let's go. You, so you think that some of them are under a monarchy? Because that's what a principality is. That's well, that's fine. what I say, I, but I, Jim I, seems I don't to care think that it's much. not, so... My vote should only count as half anyway because I'm not. Oh, no, Susan, ridiculous! One fifth or something. No, that's fine. I, I, I'm okay with oh, that. What was your vote, Wendy? An independent entity under international law. Let's go with that. Yay! I'm good. I'm no going to make an executive decision because my Christmas lights are still out in my front yard. Does anyone post <laughs> that? Mm -hmm. I. How does that give you authority, there, young lady? I'm not a young lady. Oh, excuse me. You're not well, young. In You're this group, lady. sweetie, you are. I am in this group, but like I'm not young in other other areas. Oh, yeah. Are you eligible so, for AARP it. membership? I, I can join AARP in like nine years. 
Oh, yeah, well, fight me. that doesn't count. You're not eligible now. This is this is my last Thursday as somebody in their 30s. So, oh my gosh, that's mm -hmm. horrible. Oh my You're gosh, old enough to be my mother, Susan. I what just it would be like to, to be born. You're old enough to be my mother. Thank you very and much. I've also like had the realization that I'm old enough to be hitting perimenopause. Oh, brother, so I should not be having... overthinking it. Once you get I'm into not overthinking it, I'm just in a conundrum all about all this stuff. You I'm in a conundrum of my life. That's okay. I like to traumatize my mother and make. Did you have a good time help. in Disney World? We are going in ten days. Oh, I thought it already happened. No, nope, no, nope, we're going in ten days. I'm, I know. I'm working right now. Okay. I'm traumatizing myself by so having. So the woman who's going to Disney World who's worried about getting old. Okay, gotcha. So there's this post on Facebook from Amy Sedaris' oh. group that says, you'd think David Copperfield could have made his name disappear off that list. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> from the Was he on the flight list? <laughs> Ooh. Well, hold on, hold on. Pe Peggy, just traumatized me even more because David Copperfield disappointed the shit out of me in Las Vegas. I'm sorry. Because I've never I seen him before. Able, I heard he's I awful. Was able, I was able to figure it out. And that's oh, what I don't that's like about magicians or mentalists is if please do something in a way where it makes my skeptical mind not be able to figure out how you're tricking me. I want that's to what not, you need. You need I don't want to know. I want, I want to be odd about like how did you do X? Yeah. Like I know it's not real, but how the hell did you do this? How did you <laughs> like, how did you mean? How did you, how were you able to manipulate my mind in such a way that even I couldn't pick up on the subtle hand? Yeah. Like that's what I want when I'm paying for a magician or a mentalist or somebody to do something like that. It's like, I want to be awed by the fact that even though I know you're faking this, I still can't pick up on it. Like you're that good with your soul. Welcome to my world. Okay. <laughs> I go and yeah. I watch magic and, and I'm like and Kenny Kenny Biddle and I when we were in Vegas for Skepticon two years ago discussed how we were kind of disappointed in the fact that we were able to suss out how this happened and it made me really sad because as a young child who watched him on television like make the train car disappear the Statue of Liberty disappear like I was yeah. chasing that same type of like feeling and it was just like, oh, the coolest yeah. thing I got was the fact that I couldn't tell how you made the person from the stage appear on literally like two seats down from me. And there was no way, for, like, I mean, I looked at the floor. That was like the coolest thing. But everything else was this emotional, fun experience. Well, he went to the Epstein thing. Maybe that's what uh, uh, that's what ruined his magic because he went and hung yeah, out. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe, but I don't know. Trump went four times. No kidding. Not to mention the pictures. Trump. Well, I surrounded. haven't seen anything, so it's all friends, out, huh? Friends, friends uh, what? What's Eugenie and Beach? Clinton says he name? just used the plane. Prince Andrew went like four times. Prince Andrew is clearly one of those dogs that. Fuck the teenagers. Oh, but, yeah. and Thanks for demonetizing me even further. <laughs> Not that I'm mon monetized. I'm sorry for demonetizing you, but people. But I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not monetized, so. Oh. Oh. And, but now I can't be. Thank, thank you very much. Is that That's because right. of my language? No, I don't really care. I don't have. It's okay. I can control it. No, it's already. Do you know about Warhammer 40k? Oh dear. Because I've learned a lot about that based upon podcasts he's listening to about how people are very offended that a mythological um nerd fandom is letting women become like militant leaders, yet like women shouldn't be allowed in those roles, but one of the characters is the ten foot tall emperor who is immortal. What's it got to do with Jeffrey they, Epstein? I, it doesn't have to do well it has wow. to do Jeffrey Epstein because these are um I guess like basement dweller men who don't really understand that mythology and fake stuff can actually like happen and they just want 
They live in their parents' basements and they're up there. What is it with parents' basements? I, I never lived in a house that had a basement. So I don't know about what happens in basements. You're they, from California. Yeah, I know. You have you have earthquakes. Like, like I woke up New Year's Day to reading the stuff about China. For, I think Karen was the one who posted it, or was it you, Wendy? Some no, it was Janine. Janine posted about the earthquake in Japan, and I was just like, fuck. We're not even four year, four hours into 2024 and like major earthquake. All, everybody's just going to be talking about how this is a huge sign of trauma and the world is going to end. And I'm just going to scoot on over here and just eat <laughs> the pancakes and pretend like 2024 is going to be great. <laughs> In some places, it probably is great. Well, it'll be what it'll be. Quesera, quesera. Whatever, quesera, quesera. whatever <laughs> will be, will be. The future is I have my dad used to sing that song all the time. Well, good uh, job, team. I have no idea. I felt like I just guessed and I didn't even participate that much. So good job for you all. If we get it really right, it's all your fault. If we get it really wrong, it's all your fault. <laughs> Well, that was very different and very interesting, Karen. I'm really curious what you're going to come up with for answers here. Where'd you come up with this category? I mean, like, what, what, did you fall down or hit your head or something? I mean, what, <laughs> what went out of, oh, where did you get this idea to do this? God. I went to one of these places and smoked some of those drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And said, there must be more places to visit. I don't know. It's very interesting. No, because it's all based on some real places, though. So it's not fake. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just I don't know about it. So I'm going to learn something. Karen, what do you got to say for yourself, young lady? Well, there were there were a few I recognized, but uh, but 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 most of them were uh, most of our guesses came from other members of the of, of the breakout. I was thinking well, that I, I one was... place is part of Amsterdam. And uh, one place is near the Vatican. That's all I could come up with. Is everybody back? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. I, I was disappointed no. you didn't have okay. any questions on uh, Brobdingnag. Okay. So <laughs> thank you for thank you for coming back. So I split up the answers to where you should have been able to pair them together with with knowing a little bit about uh, geography and a little bit about history. And it's really funny the people that said. This is horrible. It's going to be low, low scores. And people that said right off the bat, okay, I know half these. So it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what, what we're going to come so, up with. Number uh, one and two uh, applied to Seborga. So Seborga was J and G. It's a 400 person hilltop town. Those of you who said, we haven't heard of it. Maybe it's the 400 person hilltop town because we've never heard of it. And uh, and then G, which was um, founded in uh, 954 AD. And G, so A um, and G. Okay. Uh, no, J and G. Why? Um, where where is this place? It, it's uh, Italy. northern Italy. Northern Italy, yeah. Okay. What, so well, well, that's almost G. Scandinavian. So okay. one and two, the answers are J and J and G in any order. Okay. And then uh, again, same thing with Freetown. Uh, Christiana, again, if you know a little bit about world languages, you would recognize uh, that as being um, very common uh, Danish. So three and four, A, an anarchist commune originally, and F, um, about the hard drugs and the yeah. tourists. <laughs> Okay. Yes. So okay. Wait, wait. I'm just trying to get the answers yes. correctly. So it's F strange women F lying in ponds, uh, distributing yes. swords. Freetown <laughs> Christiana is F A and F A and F A and F. Okay, A and F. Okay. Um. Okay. So then, uh, the Order of Malta, or officially the Sovereign Military Hospitaller. Order of St. John of Jerusalem of Rhodes with an Oxford comma and of Malta. Okay, those answers are B and E. So uh, the order of Malta was uh, has diplomatic relations yes. with 100 countries 
<laughs> but it has no land, which isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, that is and, odd. Yeah. And um well it used uh, to have a whole island whole island group, so oh mm -hmm. did I leave out one? Uh B and B uh, and E, which was while doing charity work dis distributing condoms, the leader got into trouble with the Pope. Okay, so then the next one is Western Sahara. Western Sahara uh would be um C and H, not the sugar. C is uh, <laughs> the, the EU gives them uh, fabulous uh, tax breaks. They are and they're a member of the African Union. I mean, isn't this? I mean, don't you know, want to know what's really going on with these countries? Why are these yeah. things allowed? And uh, H, which was uh, Morocco, uh, attempted to take it over when Spain left, but the five hundred thousand people adamantly maintain that they are independent and they are treated as independent by some nations so to me this is fascinating well i i i remember the news from uh, morocco take, taking it over uh, though quite a bit after 57 yeah so then uh the next are nine and ten uh iraqi kurdistan that would be d and i and for the listening folks uh that refreshers d was uh, despite the attempts by a dictator, uh, Saddam Hussein, that would be, to wipe out this entity's people, uh, uh, it is a, having global impact these days. And I, which was, um, despite its volatile beginnings, it's now a bustling, it has a bustling tourist industry and it has its own elected government, passport, army, etc. So again, there were enough clues there that you could buddy up those things and right. uh, figure things out. Um, so then it was K. Uh, K was which of these terms may actually may may actually may accurately be used to describe at least one of the above entities, and you were given five choices. And if you in fact said, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's not it. Uh, the answers here. Okay, you were given uh, five choices. And if you said uh, five, you were correct. If you, if you also said four, three, two, or one, you are also correct. So everybody gets a point. <laughs> if you answer the question instead of just argued about the question until you ran out of time, you get zero. Very, very good, Karen. And very sneaky. And I told you she was devious. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're interested in this blog, uh, there it is. Uh, Susan asked why I chose this category. Well, uh -huh. most of the categories come to me because I hear some a little snippet of something, and then I go down a Google rabbit hole looking into things, and then I think, oh, trivia category, and then I write it up. But so this fascinates me. I mean, these you know, nations at war and how have these little entities gotten all these privileges, tax breaks, citizenship? How does it work with their passports, right? It's really fascinating that these kind of somewhat perhaps sovereign nations exist because all the rest of us insist on very clear roles uh, uh, for what a nation is. So this also is going on in our world. The end. Yeah. Thank you. Interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and the answer, I mean, about the, okay, so let's see what we're at. Let's see how everybody did. Very curious. All right, let's go. Nice shirt, Vincent. We got nine. Thank yeah. you. Nine. Yep. All I right. Like welcome to 2024. Eight. Good, good score. Blissful ignoranti. Nine. No, Jamie did not visit Japan re recently. Ten. Ooh. And team one, Mark safe from being on Epstein's list. Nine. Whoa, yeah, yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Some people must have figured out the um how to figure it out. Cause that was you guys were did great because I was lost. 
Very good. Very, very good. All right. So the average score is nine. And oh. this, and playing it cool, team number four, welcome to 2024. If another player should, should join us in the next few minutes, they get them. <laughs> You're right on the level there. That's a smart move, you guys. Good job, Karen. I liked it, Karen. That was fun. Fun. Saborga, very really? <laughs> very different. I had never heard of it until a couple weeks ago when I had a quiz question on Monaco. And somebody, yeah, Saborga was an option for a smaller, uh, smaller state. And I had to look it up. Hmm. It was the Duchy of Grand Fenwick. <laughs> the Saborga that roared. Oh, yes, the mouse that roared. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the mouse on the moon. And the mouse on the moon. Yep. Yep. Okay. What's next? It's Rob. Okay. Ready. Susan's really going to love this one. Oh, yeah. As as I'm being facetious, because oh. <laughs> because in our uh, our pregame discussion, uh, you said you guys are just making up words. So this is all about words. This is advanced vocabulary. Provide oh, the correct definitions Rob, of these words. Excuse me, Rob, but Susan's going to have it back at you because she's replacing you on our team. I know he forgets this every week. I do. I Unless this is curse words, it. I'm I'm yeah <laughs> I'm. In Okay, so I was wondering the way to do this would to give a definition and then you got to come up with the word, but since there are synonyms, that wouldn't work. So what I decided to do is I'm going to give you the word and each team needs to write out a definition. I want it specific so you don't just say, oh, I meant that. And then the, <laughs> the representative of each team, read me your definition and I'll tell you if I think it's close enough. Okay, number one. <clears throat> Bacchanal. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing these right. Oh, oh, well, that should be a priority. Number two, bum puzzled. <laughs> okay. Number three, there's two spellings of this word I have seen catawampus or cattywampus. And the next two words are why I thought of this category because I am rereading the time machine, and within the first few moments, I'm, well, I'm, I'm listening on audio, and within the first few moments, there's one or two sentences with these words right after the other, and I don't know what either word that means. Recondite. And the next one that might, Leonard might like it. Trammels. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard's not here. Six is magniloquent. Seven, this one I saw in a movie last week, and I thought I knew what it, what it meant, but I did not. Monograph. Number eight, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm guessing Payon. Number nine, this one I did know, I heard somewhere, Jabberwocky. And number 10, I had to put this in just because I want to say it, Tit Up. Tit Up. And that's it. Jody of Rooms. Okay, very interesting. Just like my SAT. Hello, team. Hey. Okay. Like, uh, Bac okay. Bacchanal. Bac isn't that like partying, drinking? Yes. Uh, yes, it, it's a partying. Yeah. Yep. Oh, drinking a, a very, a very wild it's party. Named after is the god of wine. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, originally, it was the holy rite uh, that you know the Bacchus or Dionysus, uh, the god of parties and wine. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. So what? <laughs> so thinking let's notes? just go with wild party. Wild party. Party drinking. and drinking yeah. is fine because obviously it has to do with water, uh, alcohol. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, pretty good party. So, and, 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 add, add to that reference Bacchus. Yeah. So yeah. it's obvious where we get it. Okay. Right. Um, let's see. Okay. By the way, uh -huh. nine, uh, nine, of course, comes from the uh, Alice books. It was really again the slithy toes to Geyer and Gimbal in the wave. Yeah. So Jabberwocky specifically is the poem from uh, Alice. Yeah. Alice yeah. in Wonderland? Through, through, yes. the, through the looking glass. Oh, 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 I think it's I think it's from through the looking looking glass. What does it mean? Yes. What does it mean? Okay, okay, so it's a bunch of no, basically nonsense. Nonsense words. Oh, okay. means nonsense. It's really good. The slide nonsense. did gyre and gimbal in the wave. Oh, Mimsy, where the Bora grows. Oh, and the, the bomb grass that grows. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. You guys know this? Like you remember words from poems and stuff? That's wild. Oh, yeah. this, like, this is a, a very uh, famous what, poem. What, yeah. One time, uh, uh, I went to the trouble of memorizing it once. <laughs> <laughs> I memorized it without without intending to. So. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, uh, anyway, nonsense, particularly a nonsense. Okay. Cut, just Can nonsense. To go in order, like bump fuzzled, number two. Bump that confused means uh, totally confused. Confused? Yeah. I mean, not just confused, but totally confused. But describe this game. Yeah. <laughs> We're bump fuzzled. That's uh, okay. Uh, Okay, so but bump fuzzles would be totally confused. confused. Mm -hmm. So is someone taking notes? I am. Oh, good. Thanks. Okay. Catawampus. Okay, I vaguely remember hearing it before, but I can't. But I catawampus but, uh, means off off center or uh, crazy, uh, uh, crazy mixed up. I've heard this word before. Yeah. So mixed up or in the wrong position. I put off -centered, wrong position. Crazy, off centered. Off yeah. centered. How about off kiltered? Off kiltered off -kilter. is good, yes. Oh, that's good, yeah. And because that makes it sound like you're not like a center, like in the recondite means is obscure, unknown. basically. Yeah, obscure, un relatively unknown. Oh, it's recondite. Yeah, obscure. Yeah, it's so, an obscure word. It's a, it's a recondite word. word. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, trammels. Oh. I've heard that. Um, ah, it's something that impedes progress. It's something that's in the way. Huh. Mm. Okay, something in the way. That's good. Magniloquent. Okay. That's okay. eloquent. It's, 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 so, it's a, so it's a portmanteau word which combines magnificent and eloquent. It's eloquent and magnificent. So somebody uses, somebody is. Uh, Magniloquent if they use uh, use lots of big words. And a monograph is hmm. a short. Uh, is it a one person play? No, no. Well, not no. necessarily play. It, it's it's a uh, autobiography or something. No, no. no it, it, it's, it, a, it, it's a it's a it's a short it's an essay, essay kind of it's thing. It's an essay. Would, essay. Oh, an essay. A short yeah, essay. Yeah, monograph would be. Oh, a short uh, essay. But that makes like sense. A, isn't it told in the first person or something? Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. Monograph. Yeah. Like you told he gave me a monograph, but I thought it had to do with like telling your story. Well, uh, it's, it's I, I don't have any comments. Means it, it's written by one person. But monograph, yes, I, it has something to do with one or singular. Mm -hmm. like, yes. Yeah, one one yeah. person. Monograph. A one-person essay, okay, and the pain is a sort of work in praise of somebody. Yeah, it's a it's a joyful, triumphal song or poem. Yeah, uh, I th I thought it had to be praising somebody, a pra pain to somebody. Not necessarily. Well, it could be triumphant. Uh, it's, uh, it could be self self praising. Hmm. hmm. A triumphant, joyful song or poem? Is that good? Something, yeah, something like that. Yeah. And we talked about Jabberwocky. So it means yeah. nonsense? Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Well, Jabberwocky is specifically the poem. Yeah. 
Uh, I've got that poem from Alice through the looking glass means nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or describe it as a nonsense poem from a from through the looking glass. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And nonsense poem from New. Yeah. But it's but, but it did get sort of generalized. Yeah. yeah. To nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the flumious bandersnatch. Okay. <laughs> he took his vorpal blade in hand long time, the max of foe he sought. Then rested he neath the tum tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as an uffish thought, he stood the jabberwock with eyes of flame, came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head, he went galumping back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O frabjous day, kalu kale, he chortled in his joy. Was brillig and the slidy toes, the gyre and gimble in the wave. While nimsy were the borogoves and the momrass outgrave. Wow, you surprised me, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Well, that was great. So That's how you spend your time. <laughs> gee, I, 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 gee, I, I, thought I should have done that in our he, in the Heathens Got Talent. Uh, <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, I can't. I can't. I can't. I played look, a Shokin farewell. Message. I played a Shokin farewell. Look at his um Bob's message. Oh. Yeah, it said the meaning. The current meaning. Yeah, that so I think it, I think we're looking at nonsense. 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 Right, right. And so, yeah. tall, uh, tit up. Tit up. Isn't that just like a tit message? Is, yeah. What was that, Susan? What or, is it, number ten? Or Adrian? What, what you were about to like, say something? Like, like a mess blanket. up or something. A mess up. No, or, no, no. It it means moving around uh gaily, oh. jerkily. Uh it, it's uh it's not necessarily a mess up, although it could cause one. Right. Okay. That's probably what I'm thinking. By the way, what's uh, so okay, moving around gaily and jerkily. Is that good? That that's that's definitely one meaning of it, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So Susan, yes, ma'am. The cat that's most that's white with the black head. What's is that Hamilton? Yeah. Is that's the one that doesn't like strangers? Yeah, is he there with you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's bonded with you. Yes. He's a cat Canadian. And, she, usually, and Caspian and Jamie will come over and he disappears. That's so funny. He he's been uh hanging around with me. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean. Ham, <laughs> you traitor! <laughs> Do you want to go up now, Hamilton? Are you done with let's me? Let's see. <laughs> what a traitor uh, that cat is! Yeah, let's see. Now I Caspian and also, even I, I, Sterling. Also, he was hiding from Sterling. Yeah. That's so funny. Followed me into the. It followed me. He followed me into the bedroom, and then he went under the bed, and then he came out, and he's been walking around my legs, and then. <laughs> yeah. I guess he figured out you're not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Now the uh, interesting. I was yeah. I, um, Nathaniel yeah. was uh, tutoring for a what uh, full school year. Uh, actually, two. Uh, they had some cats, and uh, who were rather uh, shy first. But you know, after a few months, they finally sort of said, "Oh well, I guess this stranger isn't uh, isn't going to hurt us." Is it too strange? <laughs> Yeah, he's not so bad. Hmm. Apparent, apparently, it it uh, both cats and one more than the other uh, takes takes a. Very good, very different, Rob. Another mm -hmm. another good category tonight with um, some different. You guys are giving us your A game of different kind of things tonight. The questions was so long this time, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took us forever. The answers will be long. Okay. So, yeah, after listening to a few teams talk about this, I think the better way to do it is I will read the definition and only the teams who, well, if you have it exactly, you say, I got that exactly. But if it was something close, then only those teams read it. If it's like totally wrong, there's no point in you reading it. That's right. wasting time. Okay. That's a good call, That's Rob. Good. That's perfect. All You're right. going to leave us so, all a little bum puzzled. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'll, and I, I will put the, I'll put in the chat as I read it just for clarity here. Uh, number one, Bacchanal is a devotee of Bacchus, a drunkard, a reveler, or an occasion of wild and drunken revelry. Woo! Woo! Okay, we'll take wild that. party, drunken right. festival. Yeah, that's good. Take wild party. Yeah, yeah drunken that's good. party. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody got that? Yeah. yeah. I think I think I originally got that from the uh, uh, Saint Sans piece uh, from Samson and the the okay. bit from the Samson. The bacchanal, the bacchanal, yeah, bacchanal. bacchanal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bum fuzzled, in a state of bewilderment, confused or perplexed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Got that one. Ooh, two for two. Catawampus or Cattywampus is. Uh, let's see, awry, catty cornered, askew, f also fierce, savage, destructive, or an imaginary fierce wild animal. Wow, wow. that's interesting. Not the animal, but we get the make up your mind word. Anybody get all that? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so not the okay. animal part. Yeah, like we can yeah. something go sideways. If you're that's you know what catty wampus catty corner means. Okay, so here here's the one that got me in uh, listening to the time machine where it said, and the time traveler, as it will be convenient to refer to him, was just telling us his story in a recondite manner. It's like, well, what? Uh, of a, a subject or knowledge of little known, difficult to understand or obtuse. Wow. Oh. Yeah, we got curious. Obs is obscure close enough? Yes. No, oh, okay. Uh, Adrian. And then we talked about tr in the same oh, uh, yeah, paragraph. Being recorded, right? Yes, we're being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I put I put the word. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, tr and trammels is restrictions or impediments to someone's freedom of action. Somebody, okay. uh, one team was saying path. So no. Will you take the plural of Leonard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard and family. No, it's a flock of Leonards. That's right. A flock. <laughs> a flock of Leonards. Did, did anybody get? Did anybody get that one? Actually, no. Uh, well, we got a sort of impediment to. Uh, well, what I have, Jim, I thought a group of Leonards was called a Congress. Impedes progress. Is, I think is fine. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That yep. sounds good. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think Number this is the one that we had perimeter or edges on. No. Yeah. So not something standing not in your way. Yeah. Yes, something in the way in yeah, Perfect. So num number six is magniloquent. I had never heard that word. Speaking in or characterized by yes. high flown or bombastic style of manner, pompous, overblown. Uses lots of one. words. Yep. yep. <laughs> it pompous, sounds yeah. It certainly sounds like a portmanteau of magnificent and eloquent. Yeah, yes. doesn't it? it does. Would you accept yeah. boastful? Yeah. It yeah, sounds I like Ted Knight from the Maritime. That's kind of bombastic. Yes, so, it does. Yeah, I, like I like that. Like Grand Eloquent. I like that. Yep. All right. Number seven is monograph. Huh. At least one team I heard got this wrong. Uh, so I don't know why is this is not going well. Copy, paste. This is a learned treatise on a small area of learning, a written account of a single thing. It has nothing to do with one person writing it. As one oh. So we have a single bit of writing. A short essay? No, the important point is it's a single subject. Oh. Mm -hmm. That makes okay. more sense. Yeah, I knew yeah. it had something to do with being yeah. singular one or something. I did not know that. So single Carl, bit did we get that? So country country music, music, not yeah. Western music. Yeah, so sing, single bit of writing music. doesn't count or does? I've no. been mis misinterpreting okay. it my entire life. Yeah, and, and, and me as well. Number <laughs> number eight, yeah. which is a peon, a peon, a joyous hey. song or hymn of praise, a tribute, a thanksgiving, of triumph, a work that praises or honors its subject, oh. anything about praise or joy. Okay. Good job, Ron. Okay, I got Mm -hmm. I was going for the uh, I was going for the for the song of praise bit, but uh, but the rest of the <laughs> group sort of. Oh well, which one do we go with? <laughs> we got it. We got it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Jabberwocky, uh, people knew that was from Alice in Wonderland, but uh, it has come to mean meaningless speech or writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nonsense, nonsense language. And finally, tita. <laughs> it's lively gay in the old fashioned sense or restless behavior to move in a lively manner, often with an exaggerated or affected action. Boy, our team is on it. So we yes. had a word for jerky movements. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> what about a woman who falls backwards? <laughs> Ground like heels. <laughs> not going to be that generous. That's terrible. Unfortunately, if we had said a woman that had jerky movements, then maybe that would have gotten me. <laughs> Elaine on Seinfeld. When yeah, she I may walk around. I saw that meme. I'm going That's to walk right around in a tit uppy mantra for the rest. I of the I I've never really seen Seinfeld, but for some reason I saw that meme, and it was being put in all different kinds of other videos. And I yes, thought, oh, very funny. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use like the most of you got opposite. really good scores. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we have some really, yeah. really, really hard wins coming up. Okay. So, welcome to 2024. <laughs> Is that six? Uh, let me confirm. I was still one, two. Yep, that's what I had too, Carl. Okay. okay, six for that team. All right, so blissful ignoretti. We had six also. Uh, nice shirt, Vincent. We blew seven. away the competition. We got seven. <laughs> team one mark safe from being on epstein's list seven and last but not least no jamie did not visit japan recently nine yep oh but we did really really well very yeah. okay so let's get our i did um, i did really well at writing them down yeah, excellent. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> so uh, before I make us take our picture, I have Jamie, I have Avi for next week and just check in to see if anybody in who would, before they leave the game, wants to play next week as a category. Kim? No, uh, not you next week. You can put me in. Okay. Do you have someone for a bonus? No. I could do a bonus. Awesome. Thank you, Brandy. Okay, anybody else? Just just asking. Okay, so we will move. We're, we're almost filled. That's good. So everybody's all set up for their picture. Okay, let's get everybody together. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese cheeseburgers. Looks cheeseburgers. like I do I have it? Yes, I have it. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's take a five minute. Do we take our picture already? Yep, all yep. done. Oh, gone. Okay. Um, okay. Thank, thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye -bye. Nice shirt. Nice shirt. Nice shirt. Oh, nice shirt. You. Nice shirt. Thank you. Like your shirt. <laughs> you. Bye. I'd like to thank you for the emoji page, the emojipedia, <laughs> and, and putting the little symbol space. In the names i've been having fun on my zooms with that thank you faith for pointing that out last week you're you're welcome okay, what was yeah, i'm gonna give you permission what was, now on shirt? You what was on vincent's shirt it just had a, a black and white it was a white shirt with a white. black design on it that was kind of you know a stylish symbol it looked like the netflix logo logo with an old tv you know symbol that's off the air or something but it was all like scattered, like a newspaper print or something. I couldn't figure out what it was. It was just a design. It looked like a modern art piece. Yeah. Ron, it looks like the cat is on your, draped over your head. <laughs> he looks like he has a big afro. Just a bad toupee. Him. Your cat looks a bit tick up. <laughs> <laughs> Now he has a, oh, for a minute there, you had one of those uh, coonskin caps. That's right.
Now I got a cat growing out of my ear. And I know we're not talking weather anymore, but it is snowing here right now. <laughs> it's where are you? To get it really where, bad where by the weekend. Cat? Yeah, Edmonton. Okay. As I, I keep looking out the window, and I'm like, do I have to shovel yet? No. How, how much snow do you have? Not nearly as much as we normally would, but I think they're calling for about five centimeters, which is um, two and a half inches. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing a temperature blanket. And We're I supposed to get 10 inches, 10, 10 to 12 inches on Saturday. Yeah, same here. We're going to get rain, but I'm doing a temperature blanket and I had to readjust my calculations because I realized that if I didn't, I wouldn't get to use the yarn I had at the beginning and the end of my temperature ranges. Aww. <laughs> so I, I instead of doing like a 10 degree variation, I'm doing like a five so that I can actually use what I bought. <laughs> yes, you were planning that when we were talking last week. Mm -hmm. And it got cold enough yesterday to use the because I'm doing a below freezing temperature for the lowest colored yarn. And it, there's like a 20 degree variation between the two days. So it's like kind of annoying me that I'm going from blue to green and there's purple that's not being used yeah. <laughs> in the middle of that so but we're supposed to get rain like in two days like a half of an inch so I've got like a rain gauge of zero to an inch of four different yarn colors to use so I'm hoping I won't run out I hope not <laughs> we'll see what climate change decides to give us this year right Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go get some painkillers. I'll be right back. Thanks. All right. We back? I'm back. Yep. You did a bit of 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 you almost don't have to take a picture. Like if I ever didn't get it, we were all frozen. So I could just pop. <laughs> then, okay, here we go. Everybody back? Uh, no. Cat vanished, but. Uh... Ready. Ready. Go. I'm back. Adrian's back. It's so weird to see her sitting in my, laying in my bed and she's taking over my bedroom. <laughs> I'm just sitting that to Everybody's back. Where, come on, you guys. Here we go. Wendy. Jane, are you there? Jane's not back. Terry's I'm back. back. I'm back. Jane, tomorrow. Oh, Jane. Um, when are you leaving? Go, Susan. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're Jane, doctor. when are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. Okay. Early. When are you back? Excellent. Tuesday. Thank you. Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And um, we're staying. Where we're going. <laughs> Jane and Jane and I are going to be in the same house with Paula, right? Yeah. Yay. Jane, Paula, Adrian, and Wendy. That should be a party and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll I'll visit, but you know we're we're. We, I told him I said it's going to be kind of like a little psych on because, we're, except that we're in Monterey area. Except that we're in Monterey. Yeah. In other words, your time is going to be filled. It's going to be much fun. eating, much gossiping. You know how that works. And it, yeah, I'm for, looking at the schedule right now. Except for Adrian, there won't be any half naked girls walking around. <laughs> Only half. Jane, so other than that, it's just like one thirty, right? About that. Um, yeah, I okay. land. I is is do I land at one o five? I think. Or was it one? And, and we'll, we'll pick you. Yeah, one o five. Yeah, we'll pick you up at the international. <laughs> so so jane um you're coming in terminal one or two i can't quite remember i think it's two that's the i think that's southwest 
So we'll probably have lunch. We'll pick you up and then go have lunch. So don't eat beforehand, in other words. Oh, no. Yeah, I will not have a chance to eat. Okay, yeah, so don't do that. Don't fill up on the six peanuts that you get on the plane. <laughs> yeah, oh, Wes, she ain't getting no peanuts. It'd be one peanut. Maybe. They give you pretzels. No, they don't do peanuts oh. anymore. No, that's yeah. peanuts are out now. They give you like, I mean, they could be up here. Yeah. Three little, like, little, what are they, like, those fake cheese. They're pretzel things. It's like yeah. a mix of pretzels and cheese things and. And I get the, the little bag and I think, I wonder if all these other people are thinking this is a normal portion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, are you arriving tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Is Lee arriving tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, Lee. Well, you're mm -hmm. getting in. Well, I don't know what time you're getting in. He's going over Peggy's. Oh, I hope I hope to leave here about noon, which would put me there about 4 30. And then he's going to Lee's house and uh, I mean Lee's house. He's going to Peggy's house and Peggy has a puppy, so we'll never see Lee again. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> puppy too. Hey, I've I've got a stuffed llama toy for uh Aww. for George. Aww. Wendy, what time do you think you'll be here in town? I don't know. We're gonna um our plan is to leave here. In the San Fernando Valley at seven in the morning, get to Santa Barbara, uh, and have food at ten o'clock, and then whenever we're done with breakfast, head on up to Salinas. I don't. I honestly have no clue. It'd be okay, like so lunch time. Maybe. Be eleven, twelve, one, two. So it's it's a, no more than three. a five-hour drive. I don't think. Yeah, I I think you'd be here by two or three. Just let me know kind of where you are so that we can. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll check in with you a couple times on the way. Yeah, that's that'd probably make more sense. But yeah. yeah. So because I, 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 I was very abrupt with Paula and I said, no, I don't want to stop and sightsee. I want to go up and see Susan and the, everybody. I know. Where does she want to sightsee? She likes to stop and do stuff. She likes to stop and smell the roses and shit. And I don't like that. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, when well, she went with us, she just slept. You should stop while too. you have a chance. You, you, while you're on the road and have the chance, you should stop a, and see some things. On the way home. Oh, yeah. If we look sure. west, then we'll see the ocean. That'll be a big deal because we're just going to take the coast route up. Oh, you're going well, to. No, you're not. You can't come up one. I couldn't do no. Why not? Well, it's closed it's between. Closed. It's closed between San Luis Obispo and, and Big Sur. Uh, Why? Because the, there was a big slide a few years ago that they haven't fixed yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't take oh, it down. Down. But right. Wendy, I mean, Wendy, if you take 101, yeah, you, you get a lot of coastline <laughs> uh, to a certain point, and then you come inland, which is lovely coming up through the mountain, the hills, the valley. Yeah. Yeah. How do people get to Santa Barbara from here? Oh, well, you can get to Santa Barbara. I stop in Santa Barbara. 101. Yeah, you can go one on one. You just it's just if you get north of of like Morro Bay, you can't go any. You can't Shop go all the way. Solving for for lunch. Ah, just yeah. Lunch. Just take one on one. They have the I fast no bakeries idea. there. It's three. So you'll have to there. turn around and go back. If you take Highway One, you're going to have to turn around and backtrack and then go to one on one and come up there anyway. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. It's so I'll idea. tell Paula we're taking. I'll in fact I'll message her now and just say that the the. the we we can't go the coast route. Yeah, uh, check a Google part of the way. Yeah. Highway one status. It's very pretty. Thank you, Stephen. I just saw an email from you. Thank you very 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 much. I appreciate sure it. Sure thing. Uh, looks like I am clear to attend. Yes. And right. you're going to go to the Winchester. Uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. We'll okay, see. Okay, good. Get your tickets. And if, like I said, if you can't get the exact same time that I have on the website, just just get your tickets as close to the time and just kind of just come with us. <laughs> sure. I'm here and I'm part of the group. And we'll be like, yeah, of course he's with us. Come on in. And, and they'll go, oh, okay. So we have a lot. Can I do a commercial? Huh? Can I do a commercial? Yes, Gail, you may do a commercial. Go ahead. Okay. In your best, Gail. I have a, I, in case someone is interested, the parliamentary procedure class I did in the fall, there was such a big response to it. I had 42 people in that class. I can't even wow. believe it. 
that I just, I'm doing it again because people said they wanted more. So it's starting on Sunday. If anyone is interested, they can email me. It's free. And it's eight weeks long on eight consecutive Sundays starting this Sunday for an hour and a half at four o'clock Pacific time. And it's just the basics of parliamentary procedure. If you're in an HOA, it's worth your time. Or if you want to be an officer in any organization you belong to, it's worth your time. Uh, and let me just tell you that if you want more information, it's on Eventbrite also. What time on Sunday and do we get tests and stuff? Nope. I just... I. What I do is I teach you the lessons of the day and all the lessons are listed on Eventbrite. And then I send the PowerPoint to everyone who's registered. So you have a final thing. And we do some activities. Mm -hmm. But there are no tests. And how much is the class? It's free. It's being sponsored by our local unit of parliamentarians in Las Vegas. And if you're a member of the National Association of Parliamentarians, I don't think anyone here is, um, you get CEU credits for it. Dale, what time did you say it was on Sundays? Four, four to five thirty Pacific time. Oh. oh, it's online, but it's that's Pacific time. Pacific time, right. Are you Trask? Yes. Mm -hmm. Boy. Can I clarify something? I'm sorry to bother you guys, <clears throat> but I want to send this message to Paula and I want it to be correct and I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm a, What I'm thinking of saying to her is it, it turns out we can't take the coast route the whole way to Salinas. We can probably get to Santa Barbara, but we have to take 101 to Salinas. Is that correct? Or five. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's a mixture. So, if you're going to take Wendy. five, you got to start before you get to Santa Barbara. No, just 101. Oh. That is correct, Wendy. Yeah, yeah. 101 is fine. 101 yeah. uh, will take you, if you wanted to do one, you would turn off at San Luis Obispo, but you don't want to do that. That's where you, it goes inland. Yeah, just set up. Stay up 101 all the way. 101, 101. That's what I do. I take 101 and, the whole way and I'm fine. And, until you get to Salinas and then. Take uh, the exit to my house, which is off of 101. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just take the exit. You know? what, what's your exit, Susan? I have two. You can pick one. Oh, well. Me, which... Or you could take Laurel. Which, I'm right in between the two exits, so it, Laurel yeah. and what was the other one? Maine. Okay. Or Laurel. I used to live on Maine. Oh, really? What part of Maine? Up as far north as you can get and stay in Salinas. Santa Rita. Oh, out by the mall. Farther. Oh, so you're way out there. Like then. around Martinez, Ralph Drive, White uh, White Road, Russell Road, Salas. It's, yep. it's first, first, you know, coming south on uh, uh, 101. No, well, no, after you turn off 101 onto 156, and it's the first Salinas exit from 156. Oh, Market? Prundale. Not that, uh, no, it's south of Prundale, north of. Uh, North of Market. Oak Hills, McGuffey. McGuffey. All right. What else do we have oh today? Gosh. Besides directions to Susan. <laughs> that, that, was, that was until seven years ago. Okay. So what else we got? I heard I, I heard that Rob Palmer and Adrian Hill did a thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody told me there was a. Did Greg and Diane know about bought. this? <laughs> and then the article came out, and so it's sitting here at my house to read when I get a chance. And it's really heavy on activism, and yeah, there it is. He's got it out before I could get to it. It's got a lot of activism. It's got a lot of all sorts of really interesting stuff. Uh, they talk. Oh. They mention me once or twice. 
<laughs> no. Really got him. Why? Real? Once or twice. <laughs> once or twice. Yeah, and you know what? There was another really good uh, interview that came out that I listened to. Oh no, Ross and Carrie. Uh, Ross mm. interviewed Kenny Biddle, and it was really fun. I could have watched that another. Well, hour. I haven't heard that one yet. It's really terrific. I'm going to pull it off of my Facebook page that I put up so that I can post Please it. Put that. Put that link. Highly so I, I have some things fun. coming up, and I've mentioned this before, but now we actually have a post I can do. This is for Eugenie Scott, who is going hmm. to give a talk uh, for my organization, Recovering from Religion, this Monday, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, it's why we still have to worry about creationists. So people who were, saw her talk at PsyCon, I think it's going to be a longer version of that talk. But especially if you want to see more, you can do that. Or a lot of people weren't there. So this is a great chance to hear what she's got to say about that. Really <laughs> interesting, sad if it's anything like the one she did, it's like on. Yeah. Powerful and, stuff, you guys. And then, and then this one is going to be fun. I just firmed this up with Brian Keith Dalton today. Ooh. This is a week from Monday. Uh, it's the first time we are going to actually have God appear on Recovering from Religion. And really <laughs> wow. To questions. How did you get that to happen? I bet you uh, had, uh, you had Q. Who was a guy? Well, so this is no, not this is recovering from religion, and uh, what we're going to do just like I did for CFI. I'm going to we're going to do two interviews. One is of Brian Keith Dalton, hear about his you know leaving Mormonism and all that, and then uh, Mr. Deed is going to appear and take questions from everybody on the session, and God will actually answer for a change. Wow, Very interesting. That's about time, unless of course the computer yeah. goes out or something. Exactly. Like that. I've got gone over. Um, I'm going to share something else. This is Cindy sent me this today, and it was a really, really interesting um, talk with Adam Adam uh, Conover and Naomi Klein, who's an authoress, and they talk about conspiracy theories. Why smart people become conspiracy theorists? It's an interesting conversation. Cindy Clark here shared it with me today. And I was trying to remember exactly what she was saying because I wanted to write them down because there were some really interesting um, quotes in there that make you think. Yes, yeah, Susan, you can find it if you go back to your post. Oh, I just put the link in. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And um, she has a lot of stuff up because she just wrote a book called Doppelganger. So she does multiple interviews that are on YouTube. So you can get more of an idea of uh, where she's going with, with uh, the conspiracy stuff. And she, she makes some great points about where she, she has a formula for famous people who are uh, yeah. conspiracy theorists, which was very interesting. <laughs> so that was I, I can't remember. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it's one of those ones I wanted to write down. So I'll have to go back and listen to it again. But good job, Cindy. It was a good, good good one um we have skeptic camp this weekend and you guys hearing us talk about it ad nauseum i will have i'm going to film and everything and i will have those out as soon as i possibly can i've already got the intros written i mean the videos made for the intros i've just got to pop them on and you know do very little cleanup and i will have those out on the youtube channel for that we use for uh, not for the trivia, but we use for about time and, and Monterey County skeptics and stuff like that. So you'll be able to see the videos hopefully Thank you. soon. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's really going to be fun. we got some great talks and we do have our first, what's it called? Um, local person local group and i'm going to put a link to that it's kind of a, i did an interview with our local thing you never when you're putting on these conferences don't forget your local media they they want um people still read and still look at print and they also look online and they look for things to do so we have it in a few different places but we may have even more coming up soon we pick our skeptic camp the first first Saturday of the year, partly because we know that that's when nothing's happening in, in around and the media is like, oh, yeah, Christmas is over, New Year's over. We've done our psychic predictions for the year. Well, it's kind of like a dull time. And the weather here is usually pretty good. So it's a nice time to really hit our media. And <clears throat> I'm really hoping we're going to do more skeptic camps this year with the goal of doubling that amount in the next, not Monterey County, but I'm talking California, you know, everywhere, United States. I'd really like to double that number in the next uh, 2025. So 
If you're interested in doing skeptic camps or anything that has to do with that, please let me know. I will help you. I'll hold your hand, whatever needs to be done. Yeah, I'd like to do that for down here. Yeah, you guys have to. I can't imagine that LA isn't doing these regularly. It's like, seems like it'd be obvious, right? It's, you got a meeting space and you got people. Um, I don't, I don't want to use that space. Okay, but there's still meeting spaces and there are people. So there's still people. Good. There's still places. There's got to be. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it when we see you. All right. Okay. Are we ready to start up with the game again? We've got some interesting high scores. So oh, I'm well, I, ha I have one more thing before we go. Yes. Uh, what do you got? Do we sing my brother's birthday song today or next week? Because his birthday is on Monday. Let's do it now. Where is he? And Faith has a birthday coming up. Hiding. Oh, and Faith hiding. has got too. a birthday too. My birthday's Wednesday, so we'll do me Thursday, and we'll give Alan this week, so we can okay. be okay. Oh, okay, that's and very we generous. can differentiate, not compete, because you know we had to deal with Christmas and all. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Faith, for being so generous. Okay, so, so the, long as you're Alan, okay with it being a day late, Faith. Yeah. Okay, so Alan's birthday, you guys. You remember the rules are there are no rules with the birthday song. Uh, whatever tempo you want, whatever speed you want, um, have at it. I'll start. Have Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy 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 birthday to you. I'm truly touched. I'm truly touched. I think that broke the sound on my computer. No, we're all have, almost have, as good as it did last Nate's week. Good Alan. egg, and it's got a little. It's it was given to me by um um a musician in um Australia, and his name is Nate Egg. Yeah, he's awesome, and he, and it's. Thing I really like that, like stuff. Joe Nichols' wooden nickel. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. He does one. His his uh, group is. Oh, I got think of one. <laughs> think of one. I can't. Uh, all of a sudden, I slipped my mind. Very good. I hope you enjoyed that, Alan, because you will never ever hear that kind of thing again. Exactly like that. It's like special. From your mouth to God's ear. Okay. <laughs> you should clip it and just play it He's over and over. Overflowing with gratitude. <laughs> yes. yeah, and just finally grateful wrong. to never have his ears bleed like that again. Great affection <laughs> singing to you. Okay. Fantastic. Gail. Yes. You're up. Right. Okay. Our category is a mystery category. And I think you will all figure it out. And I hope you do because it will definitely help you to have figured it out. But I expect you all to be able to figure it out. Okay. Okay. Question one. What very famous copyright was being discussed here? The blank company can tweak its product and endlessly renewed trademarks. It's not true that the next year will open their product to the public domain. What company or product is this? Question two. Our theme is typified by two things with the same name. One is Brian Joseph Burton, who is an American musician and who Wikipedia says should not be confused with the British animated television series produced in 2015 by Tame TV. What name do they share? Question three. A 1959 satirical comedy movie featured our theme. What was the name of the country that the title represents? Question four.
Our theme has been used for experimentation as a knockout. What is the name of what has happened to them with the procedure that is used, for example, to research Down syndrome and cancer? <clears throat> Question five. A children's TV series from 1955 to 58 held a frequent episode where talented children would display their skills. Afterwards, they were rewarded with a scroll that did what? Question six. What is the longest continuously running play that continues to sell out? Question seven. The play, in the last question, was originally written and performed as a radio play, but the title was different. The radio title could not be used because there was an earlier theater production with that same name. What was this title when it was a radio play? Question eight. Protestant loyalists were accused of plotting against Queen Mary, the daughter of Henry VIII, the Catholic queen, married to King Philip of Spain, who has become known as Bloody Mary. The popular children's rhyme about them is a political allegory that doesn't usually include the original happy ending. What is the title of this rhyme? Nine. What American is given credit for inventing inventing a device that fits our theme? Or what German company could also be given credit for their independent invention of a similar device? And then question ten. What is the hair color that used to be considered rather insulting or boring, but now is being embraced by Southern living and is called a comeback by some other fashionista? Okay, any questions before we? Um, I, I'm afraid to ask. The... <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, uh, for number nine, were you looking for a company or a person? You have a choice, a choice in number nine. You can either give us, there are two independent inventions of very similar things. So you can either give us the person who did the first device or the name of the company that did the second one. Okay. What about the I have, the a, question, I have a question about or? number two. Uh huh. Number two, you have Josephi Burton in the, is it Joseph or Josephi? Uh, I believe it's Joseph, but I will look and make sure. Okay. Not that it matters to me, but <laughs> I have I a question about eight. I I'm just copied it, sure. so I don't know if I typed it wrong or it was Joseph. On question eight, mm -hmm. we're looking for a rhyme. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who they are. Is it the Protestant loyalists or is it the? I'm intentionally not telling you. Okay. <laughs> That's it fair. was it was a political rhyme okay. about her. So num number okay. one is missing a word somewhere in the sentence that is not true that. I'm not sure what it means. What is it? It is not true that next year will open their product to public domain. That, that in other words, they? many people believe that it will, but it is not true that it will. That next year they will open their product? They're missing the word they? or No, just next year we'll open the product. Yeah. yeah. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, everybody uh, ready? Yeah. Okay, go to your room. Yeah. Oh, so what are you doing? Hello, Susan. Hi. I know six and seven, and that's it. I know a few. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Maybe I figure out this theme. So I, the theme I, is mouse or mice. Okay, that makes okay. Well, I got six and seven. Um, that who's going number to... one, which is Disney or Mickey Mouse. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I think I know eight then. Number two is Danger Mouse. I'd never heard of that. Uh, there, there was a, a Brit actually a really good sort of British spy parody uh, a, a cartoon called Danger Mouse, and I believe Brian Joseph Burton is is yeah he's he's a, a musician that that has, uses that. Uh, so then uh, the next one would be the mouse that roared. Actually, came up independently in oh, yeah. conversation earlier. Um, and somehow my my numbers have all gotten screwed up here, so I don't know what number I'm I'm on anymore. Um, oh, oh no, wow. I'm right. Because I've got two number twos for some reason. Our theme has been used for experimentation. So mice have been used right. for experimentation right. as a so, knockout. Right. Oh. So knockout knockout mice are lab mice that have a certain gene <clears throat> disabled. I'm not sure what the answer to the question is, though. What is the name of what happened to them with this procedure that is used, for example? I mean... Well, what you just said, that, the, that they have been raised with a missing... Yeah, I don't know what the. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they well, they've they've been gene edited, but I, I don't understand. I don't. I think as long as we say what it is, like it, they're yeah. mice used for testing. Well, yeah, specifically knockout mice don't have a specific gene for something. Okay, so I'm sure that'll be fair. Okay. Um, I assume that the next one is the Mickey Mouse Club. They got a scroll. I don't. I don't, I don't really. The scroll. Uh, got this a is scroll that my did time. what? And I'm like, I don't know, turned into a magic wand. I don't know, because I was thinking it was something <laughs> Disney related. I was I've before seen all those. Too, Steven, so don't don't go there. Mm -hmm. It was black and white when the world was black and white. I didn't yeah. watch Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> these these are going great too. Uh, okay, so, so I can you know now. six? Yeah, that must be it. I saw it live in in what what the mousetrap pocket list to see it in London. Yeah. And then seven is three blind mice. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Very, very. Oh, no, that that's eight. Yeah, whatever the numbers are, I'm lost. But no, oh, no, that's seven. Okay. Seven is the mouse play trap. seven is three blind mice. Well, that's eight. Let's see what. No, eight is a Protestant loyalist. Right, but that's the rhyme about that's Bloody also, Mary. So it, it might be both. So what is eight? Hey, what does seven say? Seven is the play and last question was originally written and performed as a radio play. I thought that was, I thought that the mousetrap that's was. Saying, that's about the mousetrap. What was the mousetrap? No, the mousetrap is six. What is the longest? Right. Thing? And it's what saying, what playing? was the original I, title of the first. Three blind um, mice. I thought it was, I, um, I mean, I, I'm willing to go with three blind mice because it sticks with the theme. I thought the original title of the, of the mousetrap was, and then there were none. No, um, no, that's, no that's um, that's the other. That's the okay. I'm getting mixed up. That's fine. I name them. I am an Agatha Christie. That's ten little Indians. Great, great. Yes, ten, yeah, yeah. Or and then there were none. Yeah. So they had and it had another name that we can't say on on here that had the bad. Don't want to. <laughs> um, okay. So eight is Protestant loyalists were plotting against Queen Mary. So I, what is the title of the rhyme? It's not three blind mice. Oh, is I it Hickory it Dickory Doc? No. I think it's three. It, so it, so mice. that's just well, also that, three blind mice. I have no idea. I don't think it's three blind I, mice. Okay. It, the, the, it would, it would, the other option would be uh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. If that doesn't have mice, mice. in the mm. title or mouse in the title. So I would think three blind mice because I mean, um, it's about three. The mice represent three. Um, people who plotted against Mary. Right. That may be true. I've never heard that. And it fits the theme, but we've got three blind mice twice. And that, but she would absolutely do that. Yeah. You know, you're doing that. 
Yeah, Gail yeah, would totally I can totally. Gail would totally. Oh, totally, right, totally do, another? Two okay. in a row. Well, Absolutely. unless we, unless we think of something else. All right. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So next one. Uh, what American is given credit for inventing a device that fits the our theme? Chat? Well, no, that would be. I believe we're talking about the mouse. Yeah, I'm thinking computer mouse. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and yeah. That yeah. was invented by Douglas Engelbart. Wow. How, what? How do you spell his name? <laughs> Uh, D O U G E N G L E B A R T. I believe that's who it is. Worked down at Xerox Park. Wow. I don't know what she's talking about. The independent invention of a similar device, because I only hear about the, I only hear about like I I only heard heard about the Xerox one. I'm sure though. Okay, uh, so so Tim is a mouse. I'm. Uh, it's a hair color. Mousy. It's so mousy. Yeah, brown. I was initially thinking mousy it was brown. gray, but mousy brown. Mousy gray. I thought it was mousy brown. brown. I would think mousy brown. What color would mousy brown look like? Brandy's the expert in hair color over here. So. What mine used to be at one point. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> I've never heard of somebody saying, "I'd like mousy brown." I don't, I've never heard anyone say, "I'd like that." <laughs> well, yeah, people are usually born it with mousy brown hair. hair. It used it, to be insulting, but now yeah. it's being embraced. Sure. I've never heard of that. I, I mean, like I've heard hair. of mousy brown hair, but I thought the answer was going to be something that had to do with gray. Just like you said, it is, seems to be back, but maybe it's not back. Uh, I've never read maybe Southern Maybe style women. already gray hair. I don't know. I, I didn't have anything written down for number one. Did, did anybody say? Disney. What? Disney or Mickey Mouse? Oh. The Disney. What did I we mean, decide the for five? What, what the hell does the scroll do? We that we. I don't think any of us really knew. I okay. I was just going to say made you a member of the Mickey Mouse Club, but none of us remembers. Oh, the that scroll. makes sense. Well, what else would it do? Could it squeak? I don't know. <laughs> what a mouse. Okay, is that what we're supposed to do? The Mickey Mouse Club is what they want to know. Right? Oh no, no. The answer is what did the scroll do? What did the scroll do? Yeah. Right. My thought was it made you a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. But I oh, that could make sense. totally it that way. Yeah. Afterwards they were rewarded with the scroll. I thought the did ears work. did that, but I don't know. Sure, it could be. What it did is it put you it made you We have specified I am making this up. Uh... <laughs> I've never been to the Mickey Mouse Club thingy. <laughs> I've never gone to Disney. Either world never or been to land. Disney. I have an yeah. alibi. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. You're being funny. Oh, ha, ha. I'm merely trying. I get it. I'm way too bitter to be a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh. You have to be happy and shit for that. Did you ever have mousy brown hair? No. Mm. I've always I'm not had sure way too much red and blonde brown. in my hair. It's it's like um, I mean, how would it be different from brown? It's a lighter version of brown. So like dish, we used to say dishwater wash dishwater dishwater brown. blonde. I don't know if that's still a thing. Is it? I think, yeah. Um, but I think it's kind of like probably its sister color. <laughs> Her color? What's that? Like kind of the opposite. Oh. You have mousy brown and dishwater blonde. <laughs> I've never seen it. News to me. Dishwater. Okay. Yeah. I've never thought of mousy brown. I guess it's in style. I, I will never have it again because my hair is just gray. Oh, there's Gail. <laughs> Well, that's in style too. Well, they was. I don't know if it still is. People. Oh, think, it very yeah. much is. Still. Yep. Young people are dying their hair blonde. I mean, gray. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And I remember growing up and thinking, "Oh no, this has got to go." We got it. We're all done, Gail. Good job. You're muted, Gail. I can there start you. closing the rooms, but I don't think anyone else is done. Let me. Oh, come sure. on. We went right through this. We're the best group ever. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to mysteries, maybe well, so. Unfortunately, you don't have my, my thing, so I can't look to see how well you did, but I'm hoping it was good. 
Well, I think we did be good. I just got okay. it. All right. Who is actually going to? Who who has actually been our our scribe? Oh, I've written I've written everything down. Okay. So I've cool. written stuff down. I can mark it. I can I can do a thing, or Jane can do a thing. I don't mind either way. Just so long as it's somebody. That would be that would be preferable that it is somebody. Right. So long as somebody gets us. We'll just say we got ten. <laughs> It'll all be good. Those are right? already very high tonight, so I'm I'm really interested if we're going to have something really that's going to. I know I got to do everybody's very close, like they're one point away from each other. <laughs> bring down those scores. <laughs> you got something nice and difficult, huh? Uh, Always. <laughs> You're going in changing things right this moment to make it really impossible. Yeah, I'm working on a quiz, and I just keep on sort of like. Should I make it easy? And then I look at like some of the crazy answers that people can give. And it's just like, no, I'm going to make this as hard as humanly possible. Please go Just for, for sheer revenge. I think it'd be <laughs> hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Revenge I is mean, the best. Is so easy. But, and people always go, oh, this is going to be, well, a lot of them people do. They say, there's no way. This is just too easy. And then they get in here and we yeah. over, we're skeptics. We overthink everything and we think it over. We're like, <laughs> well, that seems too easy. So it must not be that. It must be something else. Couldn't possibly I still be. love that my Keanu got all fives across the board just for Susan. Oh my God. I can't Best even one ever. properly. Keanu. Oh, I did it. I did it. You did it. Okay, that was it. I, I'm glad we're recording because that might be it. Keanu. No, I did it again. That's okay. <laughs> I have to hear somebody say it and then I immediately... And then you can it. say it. But when you read it, you can't say it. Mm -mm. It's Hawaiian, right? Means Yes, it is. River, wind or something. I can't remember. So, Any chance we can get some more time? We no. weren't even close to being done. We weren't even close to being done. Well, what were you guys doing over there? We um, were figuring them out yeah. do you want me to open the rooms for two more minutes yes go please yes please yeah you don't have yes, to go back please. if you're not ready yeah. i mean if you're already if we're already done you don't have to go back and um, susan yes it's cool breeze over the mountains oh what's that that's what keanu's name means oh yeah cool breeze. Keanu. we're always so, we're talking yep. about keanu reeves yep. boyfriend know? Hey, you know, I yeah, you know. How do you do after his um the the break in or whatever? Is he okay? Oh, he's on tour, so he wasn't even there. <laughs> what did they take? Uh, they took um his firearm, which oh, that's right. That is a candy apple red Glock that was that's right. By Terrence How did he even find that? Are they sure? Oh, they no, they've never like announced that. It's only you know. They said that a firearm was taken, and that's the only firearm he owns because he's my boyfriend, and I know these things. Oh, did he, <laughs> Kat, did he, Kat, did he tell you? So, Cat, you know this then too that he was around here a couple months ago because it was a, a, a somebody's wedding in Big Sur. I used to know. I can't think of it now. All the stories are true. People are posting on Facebook, coming through up Highway 101. Wendy, you will drive the path that Keanu Reeves drew. Stopping, <laughs> stopping for coffee in these little podunk towns south of here. Chit-chat sitting and joining people for coffee and chit-chatting. And Gilroy, which is just up the road a piece. Stories all over Facebook of people seeing him, how sweet he was, how nice he was. No media, no attention. And until people started sharing about it, people were like, no, -uh, you didn't see Keanu Reeves in the coffee house. Yeah, oh, we did. Now, did he Wait, man. Did he take did his you motorcycle? Huh? Did I think he I did hear something about a motorcycle. Okay. But maybe I, I'm getting mixed up in your with your category. Your fantasy. Because well, most of them were about their personal experience, how nice he was. You know? Well, because he's super nice but he does love love to ride his bike up the coast so that's why i asked if he took his bike it looks like he went inland he came up 101 and then some of the things were also in gilroy so maybe he went up to gilroy and over five and then back down because one is closed at a certain point so wendy you'll have to do that right 
Uh, anyone listening who is uh, a couple of degrees of separation to Keanu Reeves, we welcome him. Uh, he can do a whole trivia category evening if he would like at any time. I don't have the authority to say that, but I'm making that offer. And I second that motion. And so I'm pretty sure parliamentary procedure dictates that we just I would also happen. like to nominate Keanu Reeves for the Republican nominee for president. Yeah, he can't be president. He's Canadian. He, no, he can be. He can be. We're we're, we're changing the rules. Oh, right? You're changing oh. the rules. <laughs> we're changing if, the rules right now. If Trump can do it, why can't we? Storm the bastions. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready wow. for the answers? This two no. answers. Come back. All right. Okay. I'm sharing my screen. You see the PowerPoint? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. And I think everybody got this. The theme was mice, right? Yeah. yeah. We got that. Uh, okay. Question one. Either the Disney company or Mickey Mouse, right? That the copyright has not expired because they keep changing it to make sure it doesn't. So Question. it did not expire. Interesting. It was only it supposed to be a or, really one but that they, expired. But you keep we keep modifying things, right? Yes. The it, Robert's Rules of Order is the, the parliamentary authority everybody's heard of. The family still owns that copyright over 100 yes. years Always later. Seen, but that's the, because they keep changing it. And it went from Robert's Rules of Order to Robert's Rules of Order, newly revised, 12th edition. And that way they keep it alive. So they have lawyers working on it. And oh, that's the whole right. job is to make the sure the only, copyright doesn't fail. The thing, the thing with Disney is only the image of Steamboat Willie, the original iteration of Mickey Mouse, expired. Everything else has not. So you will get sued your ass off if you try to do anything of modern Mickey Mouse. Whatever. Right. Okay. Exactly. You knew it, Faith. Bill, you're on mute. You, I, I was surprised at how many of you got this. I think you may all have got it. It's danger, man. Yeah, apparently some people know this stuff. Yeah, I didn't either until I saw it. I was looking for more mice things. Like, <laughs> that's him, and that's the cartoon. Okay, question three. I thought it was interesting that this was named in an earlier question. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness, anybody's going to know. <laughs> we talked about it earlier. Uh, yeah, the mouse that roared was Grand Chamber. So I hope you all got that one since we talked Ooh, about it. I didn't it. realize that the original Doctor was in it. Yeah. But nope. what role did he you have? Should, you, you obviously don't remember my new roles. Team round of movies that had actors that played the Doctor. Of course I, I don't. What do you think? I'm Crawl with a K? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Crawl right? with a K. Crawl with a K. Question four. They're gen genetically modified to make one or more genes inoperable. And there's the picture of the mouse who had it modified and the one who did not. And it's, they knock out they knock out the gene. Well, or anything that shows that it modified the gene to make it inoperable or any version of that is the answer. Okay, question five. Okay. You're an honorary mouseketeer. It was yeah. the Mickey Mouse Club, right? Yay, team. Number six. I think everybody got this one. This was The Mousetrap by Agatha Christie. Mm -hmm. And it's been performed continuously since 1952. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're still managing. It's a mystery. And they're still managing to tell the audiences not to give away this, the ending and Wonderful. the story. And I couldn't find it out, even if I even after researching. I don't I I... know. Saw it right in that theater. You're pointing that's right there. I saw it there a few years ago. I that was on my bucket list to see the mousetrap in the theater. It's amazing. I think it's been in the same theater, I think. Since yeah. Oh, almost the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Except for a brief break during the pandemic. They closed for but that was obvious. They had to, yeah. It says and on the, the original, original name of the mousetrap, because the original name that she did the play. Uh, she had to change it when she put it put it in person because there was already a play with the name Three Blind Mice. Mm. Told you. And you can so you can find the Three Blind Mice in America. It's exactly the same thing. It's just got a different name. It's just a different house. So you can see Three Blind Mice. I've I listened to it for years and read it and I had an audiobook, and then I was like, but I don't know what the mousetrap is. And then it dawned on me. 
years later, the mousetrap and the three blind mice. Oh. It's the same. same it's the same play. The title to change. There are some well, differences, yeah. though. Well, that's a radio play to a human play. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and I wasn't being cute, but the answer to number eight. Yay! Is <laughs> Okay. I want uh -huh. you to know that Stephen is the one who said she's deviant yeah. enough to have put it in there twice in the same. <laughs> deviant. Stephen, Stephen, the new guy, figured it out, Gail. He's got you pegged. And I did not want to tell you what it actually was supportive of Mary. The three blind mice were the people who were rejecting the Catholic Church. And there is a line at the end that we have lost that basically says that they, they were blind, you see. They didn't see the reality. So it was a political statement about supporting Mary. Hmm. Question nine. It oh, was the mouse, good. right? The wow, I'm it. shocked we did and that. Doug oh, Engelbart did this is his his uh copyright and his mouse. And Telefunken created this mouse at the same time. And I'm sure wow. most of you know this something I did not know. They called it a mouse because it had a tail. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that makes sense. Uh -oh. I only learned that recently. Uh, how the hell did I not get that? <clears throat> I but I did get Engelbart right. Yep, he sure did. Doug, you said Douglas Engelbart. You even spelled it right. You no, one or the um, other. They no, both, it's Doug, not Douglas. Oh, yeah, really I spelled it wrong. Who really has it? Okay, and number 10, Mousy Brown or Mousy Gray? All right. It never hurt. Wow. Good one, Alan. We were trying to figure out what Mousy Brown looks like. That is, that is <laughs> those, those, are those women are beautiful. Brown. Those are beautiful photographs. So that still doesn't tell me what the hair is. It looks like the oh. same. It's just brown hair. And and, and there's, there's, brown. It, there's a horse brown. collar called Mousy Dunn. Is it because it has streaks of blonde in it that makes it the mousy? It, it was it was yeah, and it was considered to be not you know they would advertise you need your hair color because it's mousy brown, and now people are doing it on purpose with this light bit of mm -hmm. blonde in the hair. Uh, it's that shade. It's that shade. And it's light. It's not like a deep chestnut brown. It's a light brown. It's a light yeah. brown. Chestnut brown is sort of redder. Darker than blonde, but dull. lighter than. It's it's mousy. It's yeah. just yeah. It's dull it's brown. brown. It's the color of a mouse. Exactly. Yeah, that's why it's called Mousy Brown. It looks like a mouse. Not like a white mouse. <sighs> very good. Very, very good. <clears throat> All right. Good. But I think we're going to have some high scores. <sighs> so let's find out. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? We're going to start down here with Welcome to 2024. Oh. Seven. I think we got seven. Seven? seven? Okay. Blissful ignoranti. <laughs> we did Gail proud. We got ten. Team one, Mark safe from being on Epstein's list. It's so funny. Eight. And nice shirt, Vincent. Charging into last place with a four. Oh, and we got the theme. Left. We got the theme right off, and wow, that sucks. Hey, Ron, I'm not on, and I'm not on your team, Ron. <laughs> no, in Jamie, spirit, you were there. Is Japan? You guys only need two points to not be in last place. How many? Two points. That's all. I... Two? What? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. <laughs> okay, we got. Well, no. No, no, no. Eight. We got eight. Nine. Eight. 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 Yeah. Why, right. we we Why eight? did we get nine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope we got nine. We didn't Why? get number four. We didn't get number eight. We got four. We got four. You said a, a mouse in a lab where they take the gene out. Oh, I missed that. I just put lab rat. All right, you guys. Be all on the same page now. Okay. Sounds so good. Average is 7.6. So. There you go. I don't know. What are we going to do? It's got to get, we're getting kind of close. So you know what that means? It's Carl's turn to deal with it. Oh. Let me give you your powers. I didn't give them to you already. Where mm. is Carl? Oh, good Lord. Oh, he turned so I can't recognize him. 
I just but, I don't know what he looks like face to face. He either Kyle's has the camera over his face when I see him in person, or he's profiled. Go ahead, Carl. All, All right. <laughs> I think you have to get a shirt for Psycon Carl where, where you're in profile on your shirt. <laughs> now he just has to sound sideways the whole time. Or I could get a mask made that is my face sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a message from Deborah. She's having computer problems. You can't quite get that. All right. Interesting. Mystery oh. themed words and song titles theme round. Every every title, every, every answer will be a title of a song, and in that title of the song will be a word that fits a theme. Number one. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. All right. Number one. Wait, wait, wait. Deborah's coming back. Let her come in the room because she just had All to. Right. Because she was having problems to give her 10 seconds or something. Is Deborah back yet? You should be okay. Yeah, she's, she she's here. Should... Mystery themed words and song titles round, just so Deborah can hear again. Uh, every answer will be the name of a song title, and there will be a word in the title of the song that fits a theme. All right, number one. This song by American synth pop band Information Society was released as a single in 1988. The subtitle derives from a sample of Leonard Nimoy's voice from the Star Trek episode, Aaron of Mercy. There are also samples of DeForest Kelly and Richard Tetros, the Android Norman, voices from the episode, I Mud. Number two. This is a song by German Eurodance group, Snap released as their debut single on 3 January 1990. The song reached its number one in Greece, Netherlands, Spain, Switzerland, the UK, and Zimbabwe, as well as on the US Billboard Hot Dance Club Play and Hot Rap Charts. Number three. Interesting, Deborah. This is a song by the British rock band Queen and singer David Bowie, originally released as a single in October 81. It was later included on Queen's 82 album, Hot Space. It was sampled by American rapper Vanilla Ice for his 1990 single, Ice Ice Baby, initially without credit. This one's a long one. This is a 1963 song written by the Holland Dozier Holland songwriting team. It was first made popular by the Motown vocal group Martha and the Vandellas. It was later recorded by Linda Ronstadt on her platinum-selling 1975 album, Prisoner in Disguise. In 2010, Phil Collins remade it for his cover album, Going Back, with the track serving as the lead single, the first Phil Collins signal released in over five years. It doubly fits this round. Number five. This is a song by the alternative rock band They Might Be Giants, released and published in 1990 on the band's third album, Flood. It's become one of the band's most popular songs, despite never having been released as a single. The song is partially influenced by the theme of the 1967 Spider-Man TV series. Six. This is a song written by Canadian song singer-songwriter Katie Lang and Ben Mink. Performed by Katie Lang on her second solo album, Ingenue, 1992. It is probably her best known song. Number seven. This is a dance song written and recorded in 1976 with Bunny Whaler. The most successful recording was performed by Marcia Griffiths. It's strongly associated with a particular line dance and has since become a celebratory staple. The song was very popular in North America at weddings, bar bars and bar mitzvahs and other special occasions in the 1990s. Number eight. This is a song by the English musician Thomas Dolby released in 1982. It was used as the theme song 
for the pilot episode of the Big Bang Theory before it was replaced with the Big Bang Theory theme by rock band Bare Naked Ladies. Number nine. Here's a long one. This is a song by the American alternative rock band Cake, released in August 96. Oh, crap. Well, I just screwed up, and there's the answer to it right there. <laughs> so y'all get a free point on number nine. I forgot to retype that it instead of the distance. Oh. So have fun for your free point. <laughs> All right. Anyway. The Distance was first single from the band's second album, Fashion Nugget. It's considered one of their most popular songs. It's a song all about success and failure and the failure of success, really, said Gene's lead singer, John McRae, in 2019. It's a sad song because there is no success. You can explode into the world with great magnificence and then feel like the guy underneath the Mickey Mouse head with the fan batteries that have stopped working properly. It's dark under there and everybody wants your autograph. Aww. No guy gets in the Mickey Mouse costume. <laughs> They're all women. Number 10. This is an instrumental by the Pe Peach Boys from their 96 album of the same name. It was originally oh, called Run, James, Run, as Wilson intended it to be used as a theme of a James Bond film. The album of the same name is now considered to be among the, the greatest and most influential albums in music history. All right. Okay, so I have a question. Yes. It's a mystery theme? Yes. Okay. You don't have to know the theme, but it might help. Okay. Mystery to me. <laughs> All right. The disturbance. All right. And Deborah needs to be assigned to a room. Deborah, what room? Oh, she can't talk. I can now. Five. Oh, how did you do that? I don't know. I was clicking around and it started working again. Okay, you're in five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. to answer and of course i can't remember the goddamn name because i uh i went to school uh, uh ben mink was in my uh my high school class so how so you guys already know some of these i got a few of them uh do you know what the katie lang song is i don't I, I can sing. I can almost sing it, but I don't can never remember the guy. Number three. Is it Constant Craving? Constant Craving. Thank you. Uh, Carl, I went to one? high school with Ben Mink, but I couldn't I couldn't remember ah. the. Uh... Are you guys going out of order then? Well, just to, if they know it, I'll go down and get it. That was it. The, the, I, I, the, I'm, I'm useless for the rest. And number three is Under Pressure. Oh, you already got that. Yeah, I already have under the one pressure. I already know. The only one I know. The last well, one does that did. does that help with the uh, Thomas theme Thomas oh, Dolby yeah. is they blinded me with she blinded me with science yeah that blinded me with science I don't know if it fits the theme but that's his famous song right and that makes sense for the, the other one was movie. um is it Thomas they or she I think it's they she blinded me with science dun, 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 I think dun, with all those things that bounce around because I don't. I don't want to. I mean, I know the song, but I don't want to. I don't want to get the title wrong because you know how sometimes you're like, yeah. "Oh wait, that's the title." Number ten, I think, is is pet sounds. Pet pet sounds. Pet sounds isn't that what it was called? The album. Marks in the back. Oh, I don't know. It's out. The big, the famous album is pet. I don't sounds. know this one. Instrumental by the Beach Boys. It's pet something. Pet sounds. Yeah, but I think it is pet something. Yeah, so that could be it. That's the name of the album. Weird, but that's the. So what's the theme so far? Instrumentals. No, it's not instrumentals. Yeah, you're right. Under pressure is not energy, no. pressure, constants, science. And it's all science, pitch, science terms sound. in titles. Yeah. Would be my guess. Science and titles, yeah. So, anyone know? Number one is Walking Away, but I don't know how it fits the thing. That's walking Away? Now, what's on your walking, mind? Walking Away. What? They the had information a information society? Wave? Is there a wave in it? 
Which one are you talking yeah, about? One yeah, or number, two? Number Which... one. Period. Information it's... Society had a song called Walking Away. Right, but the song that had a bunch of Star Trek oh, okay. uh, samples in it is what's on your mind, pure energy, because the actual words pure energy is spoken by Spock. Okay. Not to say that they don't have another song that has his... Plus, I think this fits the theme because he said the subtitle Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's good. From a that's, sample. No, that's yeah. good. Okay. Um, anybody know the German Euro dance group Snap? I have no idea who that is. Well, let's let's think of this. It uh, Phil Collins. What's the song that he covered? Because it doubly fits the theme. Well, you can't hurry. Love is is a song that he did, and but that doesn't fit. So the, the, he says doubly, so that must mean that there's. Well, there's going to be two. Do you have the theme yet? Yeah, we're there's thinking it's it's all science related terms in songs. You have pure energy. You have under pressure, constant craving, um, distance. It's all sciencey kind of words. Science terms. In songs, titles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So what would a Phil Collins song, how would it fit doubly? What, what, 2010. What's the big song he did? Did he renew it? What's the big one he did with? Let me ask Mark. Mark? <laughs> Well, There's again, it's not his own credit. song that no, he redid. Oh, that's right. He, right. he remade a 1963 song. Motown vocal group Martha and the Vandellas, which I don't know who that is. Oh, but really? also, it was Wait, Linda what? Ronstadt in Martha 75. Martha and the Vandellas. That... I thought that was You Can't Hurry Love, but... I don't know... But uh, would that fit the theme? No. Um, Does Susan know she's muted? She's yeah, I think she's talking right to now. Mark. Yeah. Definitely looks like she's having a conversation with someone. Okay, let's think about it. Um, they might be giants. Really? Really? Which one is that one number? Number five. Well, they have so many like sciencey related stuff. Partially influenced. That's the song that goes Spider Man, Spider Man. Nobody knows right. who you are. Right, that song? Right. No, it's fine. Oh, so Mark confirmed it is off. called Pet Sounds. Okay. Number 10. Okay. And when the doubly one means that it the it's a two-word title, at least, and yeah. it's all science-related. Right. That's what we're thinking, anyway. Yeah, so anything else? Did I, well, I had you guys on mute. No, we're still looking. Um... And I'm trying to scroll through your page here on the screen, and that does nothing for me. <laughs> I know I do that too. <laughs> um, I don't have any idea on number two. I can hear, I can hear Adrian in the room next to me laughing really hard. That's funny. Because, like, they might be giants. You have um, so many songs that are science related. They have Roy G. Biv. They have. Uh, Sun is a massive incandescent gas. Phil Collins released a single. Who cares? That's going to bug me because I'm sure Mark. I'm going to go like, oh yeah, that one. That's so stupid. So, Linda Ronstadt, does that also ring a bell? Oh, that so we had Martha and the Vandellas and Linda Ronstadt also did this song. And you're thinking it's which one potentially? Kevin? Um, no, I was thinking you can't hurry love, but that doesn't fit. 
And I yeah, think that, how would, does that... that it doesn't fit, but he that would but that wasn't 2010. That was earlier. Yeah. And Harry Love was 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 uh the Supremes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I think we're just forgetting another one of his songs that totally fits this. Um hold on, let me think. But he didn't do it till 2010. Going back, lead single. That's fairly recent. I don't know. I know if that's I why I'm thinking it should be something we know. Um didn't he do a sing song thing that was like about um alcohol addiction or something? No, I'm thinking of the cars. Never mind. I don't know. I, I'm drawing a blank on that one. I'm trying to also think of the They Might Be Giants song. Um The he did a song called in in the They also did Build a Little Birdhouse in Your Soul, but that doesn't really fit the theme either. And this is nineties, so that was a little while back. And I don't really know any line dance song originally recorded in seventy six. There was a chicken song, but I don't think that was line dancing, was it? Uh, wait, chicken let's dance? see. The song is very popular in North America at weddings, bar. Uh, What's God the electric Mrs. slide? Is that one of them? That was very popular. Ooh, and electric. I like. I like oh, that. Not Kevin. What? Yep, yeah, the electric side. That because fit. I mean, good one, Kevin. Which one is this? Remember. The electric Number seven. slide is a dance. Seven. The other one was achy, breaky, hot, but that doesn't fit. <laughs> no, this then, this totally then, fits with the theme. Yeah, and, then, and electric slide is always done it. Yeah. Weddings. Um. All right, so we really just need four and five, and also two. Dang it! German Euro dance group Snap. Anyone ever heard of Snap? No. Nineteen ninety. Reach number one in Greece, Netherlands, Spain, Switzerland, UK, and Zimbabwe. What the heck? I'm sure once I hear it, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, that song, if it was that popular. But I can't think what the heck it is. Oh, uh, it's going to bug me. And also the Phil Collins. I don't know. I'm not, yeah, the Phil Collins ones, I feel like I'm not as up on more recent Phil Collins. I mean, I know 2010 is still... <laughs> 15 years ago, but I know Phil Collins' earlier stuff. Lead single of that album. Well, Martha uh -huh. and the Villadellas did Heat Wave. Did, did he ever sing Heat Wave? And did... And did um it's like a heat wave and did um because that is a 1963 song and the death of okay. science and was that something that was done by Linda Ronsat? Not sure. I mean, heat and wave, wave would fit, but because I don't know if Phil Collins ever did that. Martha and Mandela's did do heat wave in 1963. Okay, well then I say we go with that. One of my friends, <clears throat> he, this woman I know is born in '63. In January, so when she did um some kind of a performance, people recorded her, and she wanted video copies and and to make it like a, a video for herself. And I made a cartoon of her uh, to the song "Heat Wave" because she sang the song. She was gonna bug and me because I'm that sure was the year she was born. Oh, nice. If it's that popular, I'll probably know it once I hear it. Heat wave. Yeah. Remember that. Oh, which they Remember might be Collins giants. Stewart. There's too I many. It down because that but they might be giant song. songs, Carl. Heat and wave. Get it? Yeah. What's and the, what's the, that's um, the, that's double. Both a heat and a wave are both science. What, 
what is um are you just now catching up <laughs> we were like, <laughs> right, that, like okay. no. what is the song having a polaroid for? moment what is the <laughs> song that the giant the giants do that's the the theme of um you're not the boss of me now that's not that doesn't fit the category don't know it malcolm in the middle oh from malcolm in the middle yeah what's the actual you're not the boss of me now eh? Life is unfair. No, it doesn't fit. No. They're, no, are they the same guys who do everybody wants to rule the world or that's somebody else? No. Shout. Gates. Shout. Who are those guys? That's not the giants. I know the it? answer to that question, but I shouldn't give it. No. No. <laughs> it's not the same guys. No. That's like in excess, right? No, no, no. Or am I thinking of somebody else? They might be too, giants. I think it's, they might be giants. Everybody wants no, no, that's pet shop no. boys. It's pet shop boys. <laughs> or something like that. No. I'm all around it. That's that's definitely not they might be giants. They do Roy G. Biv. They had the whole album dedicated then to Roy G. Biv is the answer because it fits science. scientifically. Um they have the song about the sun as a massive incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. I can keep going on. But I don't know what the actual title of that one is. I don't know if it's just the sun or what, but but I'm trying to think of what would be influenced by the theme, the Spider-Man theme. That's what's throwing me off. I'm not it? seeing the connection there. You need more than two minutes? He yeah. Yeah. One left, right? Well, we got two and five. We got two left. Well, I'll give you the warning that I'm thinking about getting close. Okay. <laughs> that, thank you, Carl. Yeah, everybody wants to rule the world as tears for fears. There yeah. you go. Makes sense. Everybody. But that's, that's thank you. I'm like, it's this. one of those. I'm like, in excess. No, yeah, that's not it. Shop like, boys and yeah, plus then you. girls. It's just oh, it's all right. strong blend in after a while. Yeah, they might be giants. Is very. They have to build a little birdhouse in your soul. You're familiar with that one, Kevin? No, no, I'm not familiar with the band. I know the Spider-Man no. theme. That's it. Not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Build a little birdhouse in Spider your Spider-Man. You have a lot of good songs. Nobody I know, and I'm like long. trying to think of what freaking fits this answer, and I just can't. Is the one that goes da 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 Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever oh, I remember thinking Spider the Spider-Man theme. <laughs> See him? Oh, so is... partially influenced, are we talking lyrics or just uh, musically? That's the question. I'm guessing I musically. Say... Probably not. I doubt he could give us that information. He should, though. Not be ethical for me to give you that information, <laughs> being reported. unless I then gave it to every all the other team. As you should. He already no. gave us one point, and he already gave us one answer. Uh, so yeah, I didn't. Um, know that. And I, I've heard Cake, and I think I only know one or two of their songs. You know, well, I should have just said nothing, and and see if people figured out that I actually left the yeah, answer. But yeah, but yeah, you totally. To I'm, I'm too. I'm too honest. I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't help but point out my own error. Uh, oh, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, I should have just left it and like w w said, said nobody should have gotten this one wrong because the answer was right in it. <laughs> yeah, I'll put Roy G. Biv. I don't, I don't know. It's probably not the right one, but that's okay. Spider Man, would you freak out if I did the two minute me. warning? Spider Man, uh, I don't know. I don't think any, in two more minutes we're gonna, right? Yeah, but how, it goes like this Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider can. Yeah. See him talk. Like talk, talk What's <laughs> two German Euro dance snap? We lost Jordan. Yeah, Jordan's getting ready for bed. It's too, it's too late. Are they back for, to school? Uh, Monday. Uh, 
only oh, German God. dance I could think of is a goose step. That's that's. <laughs> Feel like I needed to put more help in for number two. Yes, you did. I I have help I could put in, but it's too late. Well, you should have I mean, went it, and gave everybody help, and then did the two minute warning. Yeah. Well, well it, 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 probably I just I just thought of like because I knew when I wrote the question that boy this one I mean if you get the theme you might be able to get it, but it is not super easy because there's not a lot of help here, and I couldn't really come up with a lot of relevant help researching the song itself but i did think of something i could have done that would have kind of given it away but would have helped would have given it away for some people mm. well the theme the idea is that we don't have to get everyone right i mean i know so but if nobody but we gets want right, to get everyone it. right i don't yeah. think nobody should ever get something right someone should always get one okay. all right what you got for us carl uh, you need to pause the recording because we're going to have some music. And then I will okay. read. Say the names. Put them in the chat here. All right. Uh, let's see. I could probably fit all 10 of these in one copy and paste. And then I will give you the actual. I just title. clicked your link, Kevin, and I get video unavailable. So did okay. I. So for, for, for those actually watching the video, uh, number one is What's on Your Mind, subtitled Pure Energy. Number two, The Power. Number three, Under Pressure. Number four, Heat Wave. Number five, Particle Man. Number six, Constant Craving. Seven, Electric Boogie or el The Electric Slide. Eight, She Blinded Me With Science. Nine, The Distance and 10 pet sounds for the category physics and physics adjacent words and song titles volume one so you know there's probably a volume two there's probably a volume two and there might be spin-off series as well i i i have hundreds of things in a word document waiting for waiting for their own categories oh my lord people <laughs> we need an all carl night well, we have an all happen. carl, he does an all carl well. song related night uh, I have to wash my hair that night. <laughs> I, I, have, I have paper I have to, tops I need to fold. I have to go to a club where they're going to do electric slide all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give it to us in doses. I don't think I could handle a whole night of that. Uh, painful. Okay, here we go. Um, there we're not too far apart from each everything from twenty to twenty eight. That's it. Not that big of a difference. Nice shirt, Vincent. Well, we're going to try and keep that distance even bigger. So we got another four. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, welcome to 2024. <laughs> Eight. Ooh. Nice. Nice. And <laughs> team one, Roxy, from being on Epstein's list. That's so funny. A beautiful 10. Oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. Boy, yeah, yeah. nice shirt, Vincent. Don't you feel stupid now? <laughs> Yeah. Blissful ignorance. No, we just feel old. Ignorancy. Yeah. We had seven. Wow. Um, and no, Jamie did not visit Japan recently. Six. Seven. Mm. Look at that. Oh. Seven Whoa. again. So how are we gonna do this, you guys? We got a tie for, for the top place, and somebody's got bonus that they're gonna do next. And uh, it's Ron, and you know what Ron does with his bonuses. He's doing everything he possibly can with the, all of his categories to make it so that we will eventually give up asking him to do rounds. <laughs> so that is his mission and purpose in life. I'm going to guarantee that this definitely might make a difference in the final score. Yeah. So, the bonus category is a license to thrill. Oh. Everybody knows that license plates, most license plates in Canada and the U.S. have slogans on them. Oh. I'm going to be giving you 15 slogans. Oh, no. And you need to tell me either which U.S. state Canadian province or yeah. U.S. Canadian province, or sorry, to, or, or Canadian territory, it belongs to. Oh, God. Canada. Oh, God. So 
that, that that's, crappy. that's the first part. I have a bonus in there. So Ugh. bonus, 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 bonus. bonus piece. So if you don't have 10, you get, there's a chance to get a 10 with the bonus. bonus it bonus. turns out that there are seven U.S. states, and this is appropriate for this crew, that allow you to add in God we trust. Ooh. their license plates <laughs> if you can name three of those seven you can get another point this must be what we're going to have to make up our points on so first of all let me put the 15 guys here so these are the 15 slogans that you will find on either u.s states canadian provinces or U.S. or Canadian territories. You need, and I was going to give a list at one point and said, nah, you probably know what all of the um, places are, so you can figure out what they are. And then, as I said, the bonus is... <clears throat> name three of the seven states with In God We Trust as being optionally available on a license plate. Wait, so we're not going to get a list? Nope. No, you're going to just name them. Because uh, you all know what, the, the hopefully you know what the 50 provinces. state, yeah, I'm hoping you know what the 50 states, yeah. the 10 provinces, yeah. and most of the territories are. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. So. So you gave us 15, we choose. 10. 10, or you can choose nine plus the bonus. How about 10 plus the bonus? You could do 10 plus the bonus, but you're still only getting 10 points. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. So send us two rooms. I got a few of these. And, yeah. and all you the see. answers are in the uh, the link that Carl just uh, posted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let Don't me open send. that. All right. I'm sending you all off to your breakouts. Okay. Wow. I know like four, three. We have a. Who's our Canadian? Left. Get oh, out of here. No, here's one. Here's one. <laughs> we can't help us, though. <laughs> What's wrong with your finger, uh, Deborah? This is a cat toy. Oh, <laughs> I want this going. It's like this big distorted thing on her finger. <laughs> okay, we were talking blame, about blame it Susan earlier. For not, blame Susan for not putting a Canadian on your team. I didn't know. <laughs> Well, Wasn't there we one? Had, the we had one, one but he went had to go to bed. Oh, that's, that's right. You lost Vincent. But somebody call him up. <laughs> we need Vincent back. Wait, Adrian has his number. She can call him and tell him to come back. She's in the other room, though. I can hear her laughing. Okay, so who's who's doing this? You guys probably need a screen share, right? Oh, yeah. we're doc. I get my. I might be able to do that. Ron on. that does that. Who's who's not allowed to do it this time? Yep. Yeah, hang on. I can do it, I think. Right. I can get a call here. I have a new a new laptop and I'm just getting kind of used to it here. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see it is share. Okay. Ah, don't do that. Okay. Should we start with like what people do know? Yeah. I know 15 is New Hampshire. Oh, good. Yeah. Great. Um, I didn't know we had any that were in Spanish. That's weird. That must be Canada. That's Canada. So oh, it's in Spanish or Canada? State, I've heard, isn't it like Nebraska or what? The the natural state in the Klondike? Wouldn't that be Alaska? Oh, well, yeah, that's yeah. got to be Alaska, right? Alaska, yeah. I know, the ocean state is New Jersey. That's a garden state. That's a garden. Oh, thank state. you. Yeah. yeah, I'm wrong. That one I do know. Could um, great evergreen state is Washington. Ooh, the Evergreen State. Yeah, okay. could number six be North Dakota? No, six. that's not. That's not American. North that's Dakota. Not like six. It's, it's, it's not North Dakota. Dakota is not I think. 
Green Mountain State, is that like um, West Virginia or someplace like that? No, Green Mountains is uh, Vermont, isn't it? Vermont. My, it was, I, I, I got the Vermont. Green, Green Mountain boys were from Vermont. I got Vermont. Too bad Arlen doesn't play, right? You know. Yeah, maybe. Ocean State. Excelsior, that's got to be Canadian. <laughs> no American. Yeah, US no American would say that. Say that. <laughs> the land of living skies. That that sounds very Native American, and it doesn't sound like America at all. It sounds like it must be Canadian. Yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah. Doesn't it? If it does. that would be, if it's Canadian, wouldn't it be like Alberta? Canadian a province. I don't even know the provinces. I know some of them. We had it as a category there for a while. Canada's ocean playground. Hmm. Uh, Vancouver. Nova, Nova <laughs> <Ocean>? Yeah. What? <laughs> Victoria. Well, that's just part that's of it. That's a an island and British and Columbia. A city. No, that, British that Columbia. Was... British BC. You think maybe BC? Either that or, well, I, you know, I don't think of the ones on the East Coast as being playgrounds because it always seems like it's just frozen. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I, I agree. Like, I wouldn't think Nova Scotia would be an I ocean playground. I can go playground. listen to the, I can go listen behind me and see if, see if I can hear her talking. I can't hear what she's saying, <laughs> but it might be something coming out of there. Vacation. I don't even know what California's is. Oh, we're the. Golden uh, State. Golden what are, oh, Golden, Golden State. State. Oh, okay. That's, the, that's, and we're, that's we're the Sunflower State, but that's not up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Garden State is New Jersey, right? Yeah. And yeah. the Beehive yeah. State is and we're, uh, Utah. Utah. I mean, I know some of these. I know yeah. some, too, know but some. not the ones. If we had the ones with lotters, that that'd be okay. Yeah. Volunteer was, what, Tennessee, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that sort of sounds familiar. Tano I Chamorro. I want to say that's got to be in the Missouri. southwest, right? This one, Tano I as Ichamoro. I've never heard of this. I that haven't either. No, but but wouldn't it be the southwest, like well, New Mexico or like New Mexico or something? It would not be. It in, could. It could be New Mexico. No, that's the um, Enlightenment, or no? Um, it's something to do with the sun, I think, doesn't it? Uh, their, yeah, their symbol yeah. is like a sun, uh, right? Yeah. Birthplace of the Confederation. Um, Where would, would that be? That um, has to be someplace deep south because like, like, Ontario? Uh, that's gotta Virginia be may be the birthplace of the Confederation, but we don't have that. Here. I don't think we'd have that here. No. On, Ontario. Probably. Okay. That's or birthplace of the con. Uh, okay. Oh, Ontario. Yeah, that's not America. Yeah, that's not a bad guess. Okay. Vacation no. land, I think, is Maine. No, oh, really? Yeah. No. You don't Vacation think so? Land? That's that's like a theme park. I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Celsius. Celsius. Wasn't that um, maybe one of the Carolinas? I'm trying to think of who would be. Um, idea. I don't. Maryland. I don't think that's ours either. What about? Mm. Oh, you don't. Maryland has Ocean City, but that doesn't mean they're the Ocean State. No, Mar Maryland might not be bad because that's not got, a bad uh, idea. They're practically surrounded. It has by to ocean. be the East Coast because okay. none of the West Coast. Hey, none of ours is. Yeah, it's all California here. Almost. Hmm. Uh, Excelsior. I want to think the Excelsior is one of those little New England states. Mm -mm. I, I would almost bet that it's not. What's, what's another Canadian province? <laughs> British Columbia. <laughs> How about the uh, Vancouver Islands or the what, the islands over? Well, on Vancouver the... Islands part of British Columbia. Okay, but those ones way over by the um, Falkland, not the Falklands, but the. That's down by yeah. Uh, that's down by Argentina. <laughs> um, the ones that are over on the very right side above Maine. Yeah, like Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, Prince Newfoundland. Edward Island. Um... Newfoundland's a good guess. Yeah. Okay. For which one? Anything that's not American. 
How about Motu o Flag? I don't know. Is it territories? It's provinces not in Would that be like the Northwest Territories? The uh... Oh, is there Montreal? Could that be Montreal? Montreal's a city yeah. in Quebec. Okay, could Quebec, be Quebec. Be a... Quebec. Is that French? Is that French? I'm guessing maybe it's Eskimo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or yeah. What's that Northwest little... Territory. Yeah, they Northwest have a... about... Territories. Northwest Territory, I think, too, because there's that place yeah. that's way up there. Oops, I can't type. There. Yeah, I'm awesome. to Canadian. Yours to discover. So if I do a two two minute warning, you guys are good. Looks like you've got ten up there. At no, this we're not. We're we not. not have ten. Well, you only you only need ten. Don't forget. Slow down, Ron. No, well, we still need <laughs> ten. Pushing us. This we didn't day. do the three. Um, we only have okay, the three states. Just grab the three Bible states: um, Alabama, Mississippi. Yeah. But do How about you think Texas. That, do you think that they? Yeah, probably Texas. But do you think that they would be southern states? I mean, it Texas could be California. Has... It doesn't mean that we use them. It just means right. they could be. I saw the they book. have to be in the Bible Belt. There's quite a few. Uh, I mean, Missouri, Texas, maybe. Sure. How about yeah. Missouri? No, I don't. I thought Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> just remember, you can only guess three. So oh. well, well, we're just writing them down for now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> Trying to think of Bible Belt. Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, Texas. Oh, the Bible Belt? Iowa. Um Iowa. What? No. Oh yeah. I it bet. depends. The rural rural I just, parts well, of I always think of the deep south, but yeah, Iowa. Uh, Iowa's yeah. a good one. The Bible All right. Belt sounds like so that. of these of these six, which three do you think are the are the most likely? Texas. Texas. No, Texas. Texas is the least. Least? Really? I think Missouri. Uh, Kansas. Mississippi. And Mississippi, maybe. Missouri, Kansas, and Mississippi. All right. Don't leave it up to me, guys. That was just my, that's just my wild guess. <laughs> That's because that's what I have written down and I stopped writing. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I, I bet you it's going to turn out to be something like Oregon. And, and hey, wait, yeah. no, <laughs> number nine is can Canada's Ocean Playground. We didn't make a stab at that. Canada's Ocean Happy Playground. Happy Nova Scotia. Oh, it's New York. <laughs> I, I think it would be no Nova Scotia number nine okay. for nine. Yeah, I don't know. People playing that's pretty cold up there. It's pretty cold, but they go up there to play around on the ocean. It's an island you drive around. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Excelsior. What do you think? Um, yeah. that that one's weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gabby, the Nat would natural yeah. state be oh utah's the beehive state utah's yeah. beehive but it has all the and power. what about great faces great places i still think it's north dakota okay. i don't think it's american and the natural state could that be colorado oh uh is it god they i don't know I think... oh, or maybe I think Mexico? they're the Rocky Mountain State or something okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico, the natural or... state is definitely American. Um, New, Me New Mexico, yeah. Maybe New Mexico, yeah. Yeah. What about good. Arizona? Or um, uh, I was yeah, I was thinking Arizona, but you think? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Neither do we. I didn't ever see that we were just there. New Mexico was land of the rising sun. Okay, so that we'll, yeah, that. that's right. So we'll say Arizona then. I, yeah, but it, um, it doesn't seem very natural to me. But whatever. Oh no, tomorrow. I want to say that's got to be. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Yours to discover. Uh, Montana. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Now, Montana's a big sky. 
Oh, that's oh, right. Do we have how a about, big that makes more sense? How about South Dakota or Wyoming or something? Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. That's the big cheese. <laughs> that's the big cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so like Excelsior be Quebec since we don't know. Yes. Okay. And we have one for everything. Yours to discover, for... though. That does sound Canadian to me, but whatever. We have 30 seconds. Yeah, right. Because you discover Canada. Yeah, because we, we don't live there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we discover we need to have people on our team that are from Canada. We do. Well, and we, we did, but they go to bed too early. You doomed us. We have no young people to know all those songs. I'm going to say this is Florida, even though I know it isn't. <laughs> did you guys really do that awful? Yeah, you did really awful, didn't you? Well, we terrible. Did songs. We, we did better. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Uh, we we needed a Canadian. Okay. Our, Canadian our Canadian went to bed early, you guys. Yeah. By the way, Ron, I didn't mean to post that in the middle of your thing. It's just I, yeah. I posted that like five minutes beforehand, and it took that long to upload the 320 meg file. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't either. The, it, it, that makes the sense. PowerPoint of my answers that I uploaded to the chat. I thought I saw it earlier. No? I posted a video of a cartoon I did for the song Heat Wave. Oh. On okay. the Word doc earlier. Yeah. Yeah, the thing. word doc came up earlier, but yeah, and then that yeah, it's it's all kinds I of weird. Both of those two at the same time, but the <laughs> the PowerPoint took a while. Okay. Uh let's kill the suspense here. And I'm just gonna post up all of them rather than one at a time. Good. So these are these are the actual ones here, and I will read them out. Okay. Vacation land oh. is Maine. No way. Excelsior yeah. is New York. Oh, it's new. The Klondike cold, is Yukon. We got it, but we didn't use it. The natural state is Arkansas. Ooh, I should have known that. Oh, I'm Ocean embarrassed. state is Rhode Island. Yeah. Great faces, great places is South Dakota. That's no the way. Hey, I would have sworn that was, I would have given up one of my children to believe okay. that wasn't real. <laughs> yeah. Which one? So, Pick which one? You got green him back with Alan. State is Vermont. I don't know why green is out in front yeah, there. Yeah, I was. I'm like, wait, is that some new Vermont that I've never heard of before? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's for just the green part of Vermont. <laughs> um, Evergreen State is Washington. Yes. Um, Canada's ocean playground is Nova Scotia. Uh, the land of living skies is Saskatchewan. How is no. that possible? <laughs> it's got to be none of it. <laughs> no, it's some of it. Sorry. Yeah, um, to Saskatchewan. Nothing lives there. <laughs> we forgot. Oh my god! So there's nothing to get in the way of the living skies. And uh, Tano e Chamorro, or how are you pronounce this? Is Guam. Oh. Um, hey. oh. And for you Canadians, Confederation is our equivalent to you know is when Canada was founded was the is, was our Confederation the birthplace of it. Is, uh, what, if uh, what if I what if I'm dyslexic and I reversed uh, Nova Scotia and uh, and Prince Edward Island? Would that count? Not no, you're you know. you're fired, Alan. But you get an extra point license for plates for Please. Upper Canada. But you get an extra point for knowing Ben Mink in the previous round. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. And let's see, number 13, I'm not even sure to pronounce this, but we'll go with Motu O Fluff Yaga uh, is American Samoa. Good job. Uh, number 14, Alan, you should have gotten that one. Yours to discover is Ontario. Yeah, Billy had it. Oh, wow. And 15, live free or die is New Hampshire. And I now, love the yeah, we do George that one, Colin. I think. George Collin yeah. talks about the license plate. He goes from potato land to live free or die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, hang on a second here. How did I miss? Why isn't Florida? Okay, there it is. Um, now, if I looked up a few of these uh, because I was surprised when I saw that these are the seven states. Okay. Why Texas is not there, I did what? look at it. At one point, you're, Texas you're tried to put it on one. there, wow. uh, but it was never passed. Is you're, my you're understanding. You're also missing one. 
Why? In, North, in North Carolina is one of the states. It annoys the shit out of me. To I be- thought so, but when I looked it up and it was not <laughs> listed as one of the states that has it as an option. It is an option. It's been an option for a couple of years and it annoys the shit out well, of me. might be new. Um, are you sure that the people doing it, uh, uh, Faith, are you sure they didn't just simply get uh, uh, black and, it and write it on the plate? No, no, because when I okay. got my when I got my car in 2019, I had to specify that I wanted the original license plate that said first in flight and not in the God we trust bullshit because I wanted to make sure I was not going to drive around with that shit on my car. Yeah. <laughs> and it's an option on, on all these places. If if that's the case, I may have been looking when it was a little out of date. So I'll give you North Carolina. If somebody and and okay, Carl just posted. I think that's where I went. Yeah, it says Texas. Ron, it, says Ron. Texas. it does there, say Texas on it there. It says Texas. Yeah. I just yeah. searched for Texas. I got Texas. Uh, Ron, uh, did we get a point? Ron, Arkansas you said option. If, and if you have North Carolina and Texas, Oklahoma. I will allow those. And Kansas, also Oklahoma. Kansas. Oh, my God. We're going to get to all 50 here in a minute. The, okay. Well, the thing is, Ron, you said additional, but there are several there that it's on there, but it's not an option. It's not. It's forced. It's, um, it's, 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 it's on there, but it's not optional. It's there. I mean, it's always on there. Oh, it's that's forced. That's you have to do it. It's like your money. I, I just looked it up and it's 20 states. Yeah. Okay, then maybe I take it back here. All right, use those states then if you've got any of those. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think you got the three team. Texas, I got to take a look Oklahoma, at the site Florida. that I use there because well, some no, of I these ones are on that, there. I yeah, I had Kentucky right. and Virginia there myself. Right. Right. My team and West Virginia is on there. Right. Surprise. Yeah. We still didn't get it. <laughs> okay, I, I take it back. So you got a little more chance on the bonus. The other ones I know are correct. Alabama, fucking Alabama, and Mississippi. And, you know. Like, why, why are you being so progressive, Alabama, Mississippi? <laughs> Wildly surprised. I'm stopping Alabama. your states. Okay, so if you guessed any of those twenty states, um, then then you, or three of those twenty states, you're good. Um, but the other fifteen that we have there, th- those are correct. History of corruption. Wow. Say what? Uh, it's on this link that he gave us at the very I bottom. Oh, I thought that was on. I thought that was on somebody's plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's basic. Basic. I don't think I've ever Trump. seen it in the Pennsylvania. That's, That's, on, That's on all the Mar-a-Lago golf carts. We we <laughs> we are driving to Disney World, and I'm going to look at every single license plate on my way down to freaking Orlando and see if I see one in Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. Take a picture of them all. We yeah, will. That's your we mission. Will. It's After like we, playing bingo. That should, we'll keep, get our free that should keep Romero juice. interested. Well, we, we're gonna, he's going to be excited because we get free orange juice when we cross into the Florida Welcome Center. Mm-hmm. So that's like, really? yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. See, we stopped in Georgia, and he was like, well, where's your free juice? And, and literally, the lady at the rest stop said, sir, this is not Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I want a peach. And that's, yeah, that's what I wanted. Thank you know. All right, so before we go to the scores, which I know you guys are dying to see, I need one more person for next week. Visitor Center. I have Carl, Avi, Jamie, Brandy's doing bonus. I will not be here. Well, yeah, I can't do it because I'm running the game. Otherwise, I could do it. I I need a volunteer. We're not going to scores. Is that cat? I think I saw her raise her hand. I was scratching my cheek. <laughs> good enough. That's good enough. Okay, cat, it. Cat's it. I do have a category. Can you hear me? So... Okay, cat's got it. There you go. Thank you, cat, for volunteering. I, I was screaming. Can you hear me? No. No. It's gone. Take I'll it. The week after that. And the week after that is all Rob all oh, okay. day. You and can have it, Kevin, if you that, want it. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll I'll write a better one three weeks from now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Less pressure. So we're getting really, really close, you guys, to 200. I don't know if that's like a big deal to do something. It's the bicentennial? Like I oh, think what we need to do for number 200 is all fly to London and go to the Punch and Judy Cup. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> then tore a white house. And a lighthouse. Adrian's going to pay for that. Yeah. yeah. All our expenses. Come, come to Cape Cod and I'll give you a tour of the lighthouses. <laughs> and, and then we'll have a marathon where we watch the RogerEber.com best reviewed movies of 2023. Stores, please. You don't go to Lighthouses. You go to Michigan because Michigan was the only question we got right on lighthouses <laughs> because it has more lighthouses than any other state. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> So I let's see how we did. You guys tabulated your scores, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. So let's look at Ron's team. Nice shirt, Vincent. Five. Five. I might be really good. So don't sound so depressed. I might be like, five. I don't well, know it's how. better than our last two categories. <laughs> <laughs> What's your average? Yeah. Um, welcome to 2024. Nine. Okay. Nine. So never mind. Nice shirt. Never Vincent. mind. <laughs> Blissful Ignoranti. Six. Nice average there. Hi. Oh, apologies from the Canadian. All sixes, all sixes, all sixes. No, Jamie did not Vince visit Japan recently. Japan. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, you up the game. That's it. Mark safe from being on Epstein's list. Can you do it? Eight. Oh, yes. so oh. Good. I made a difference. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good category. Good job. Yeah, that, was a that, good was, category. that was fun. I got to go. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Categories here. These are getting kind of easy. Seven, yeah. seven. We need. And then remember last week, 49. Ooh. You need to mix ages on the team. I think we need to get Canadians and Americans on opposite teams. I mean, at least a mix of Canadians <laughs> oh, opposite and Americans. Teams. You're the one who creates our, the teams. It, our it's team problem about. was that we were all the same age and questions were kind of age Adults related. Adults like us can learn. We can learn. We can know. Well, we don't know what we need to learn until it's too late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we're old and we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a lot of fun with each other you know yes that was good <laughs> so a piece of trivia that came up the other day mm -hmm. the pantone code 2024 is peach fuzz <laughs> nice. all right well from from catnip corners <laughs> uh i wish isn't you that my house no, my house is Catnip Corners. I do not live on the corner, but we are called Catnip Corners. Mark has named it that way. And it's no longer Snookum Studio. Skookum. 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 Oh, I like Skookum. Maybe we'll, do you know what we're going to do? Snookum uh, Studios. We're going to, because the newsletter will be coming out on Monday. So you and I should do it and we'll call oh. it, we'll call it Snookum Catnip Corner Studios. Oh. What is it, 2024? Yeah. I don't know which ones these are. These are paint stuff I do at work. I don't think they do pa Pantone. No, right? it's not. Like it's re it's like colors. It's something. To do. It's similar numbers, four digit numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Paint colors. All right. So we will uh, see many of you guys at at Mini Psychon Skeptic Camp, and uh, those of you guys who aren't being going to be there, I will have videos out for you guys. We will miss you. I wish you could be here. I wish I could. And I know, I know it's it's sad, but we need to have more conferences. So we got to spread them out. So right. get them started in your area. And they've just announced the dates, even though we already knew them before, for uh, Psycon 2024. So when is it? A, same weekend, I think, right? Oh. It's going to be at the Horseshoe, which is a much better place. Brian Dunning's already asking, is there a Del Mar kind of place? And Carl goes, we were there. We've already scoped it out. It's much better casino. Well, at least the, the areas where we can hear it's out. the new horseshoe, not the old horseshoe, right? Yeah, it's right. brand new. Yeah. Oh, Brian was it's there, he could have gone and looked at it. Was it. Bally's. Yeah. it was Bally's that's been redone, so it's new, it's very nice. At least where we went, at least in the areas. We Closer to we'll have a fabulous time at Skeptic Camp. I know, I'm really looking forward huh. to it, and I'm I am sad that I'm not going to see you guys, but it is fun to be able to see people, see people like Karen has never met Adrian. In well, person. Well, we did a few hours ago. I know, but you had never <laughs> met her before that. And she's scaring. We can go home now. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah, I'm flying home tomorrow. There's people, there's <laughs> other people. So, and uh, Jane hasn't met um, Karen either. Yeah, so there's a lot of people who haven't met each other. So it's nice to blend you guys a little bit. So let me get over to the East Coast and to haven't other areas and we'll blend. Yet. Come up to Canada. Connecticut. Okay. Well, hey. they didn't invite me this year, Kat. Uh, I just invited you. Come up to Canada. No, <laughs> for the conference, the weekend recent Look, conference. You're allowed to come. Uh, <laughs> that would be hard for me to go without. Good night, Gracie. We're getting close. All right, good night. All right. Bye, bye everybody. Good night. Good night. Have a fabulous time. Soon. If not, Next week, I will not be here. Rob is running it. All right. Have a great conference. See you Bye guys everybody. next week. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow.